Hopefully I don't get too tired. Yeah. During this, this exciting episode of Radiant Dawn, featuring Micaiah. Who has terrible speed. And great fan art. Obviously. I'm pretty sure we did this already. Yeah, I think we did. Was, this is where we left off. Who should Ileana support with? Most likely Laura. Hell yeah. No cutscene though? No, I don't think so. Bad. Well, I mean, if you want... If you want both of them to support in cutscene, you have to do this in battle. Oh, I see. Yeah. If they support, then... Each support, uh, they will increase, uh... They will increase stats. See with... See with Makai and Soph? Yep. When they... When both of them do get close, they actually do increase... They actually do increase their stats. Finally. <laughs> so that's... So that's how it works. Supports are actually useful and valuable. Well, they're always useful. Yeah. And, uh... Ooh, I, ooh, I have Jill. Yeah, your girl Jill. Oh, she's definitely a keeper. But unfortunately, she literally... Well, he... She is at level 14, so... Well, she's like almost max level already. <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, the best I could do is at least make sure that she reaches to 20 speed. Yeah. Or at least the minimum. Give her a... I, I'll at least give her a minimal defense at either... Hmm... Like if we if we level up her defense at six levels, she she could literally re reach at nineteen defense. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah. But that's not gonna risk I'm gonna take. And I have Toronto. <laughs> I forgot we're calling him Toronto. Yeah, who is literally a beast in the He is literally a beast. Is he Mr. Beast? No. I mean, he kind of looks like Mr. Beast. I mean, I, 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 I don't see the resemblance, to be honest. Shit. He looks more like... Honestly, he looks more like Jim Carrey. And <laughs> Jim Carrey? <laughs> honestly, I can see the resemblance between him and Jim Carrey, Eggman, from the first movie. All right, you know what? You can start calling him, start calling him Jim Carrey, then. You know what? Sure, I'm going to call him Jim Carrey. Yep. Uh, he's, level, he's level oh. three. Yeah, he is a pre-promoted swordmaster. Oh. He, yeah, he is going to be very useful. And he has a killing edge. More useful than in Path Radiance? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. <laughs> all, it took, go... all it took was one game to become useful. Yep. I don't know if I ever wanted to shop, but... I also found a I also found a funny post called 10 most popular fire emblem characters. Oh god, what is it? Yeah. Maybe I should maybe I should give the TLDR. Sure, I mean. You could what? literally list How dare you put Ike at number 10? Worst list. Come on, Ike is not even that bad of a character. I like Ike. He is really cool. Yeah, we like Ike. We like Ike. Ike <laughs> is literally one of the coolest characters. Let's no see doubt. what they said. Um, Ike is very different from the main characters of other Fire Emblem games, as he's neither royal nor an amnesiac. That's cool. That's really cool that Ike is not a royal. After the Black Knight slays his father, he assumes leadership of Grail mercenaries, and constantly pushes himself to prove his worth and avenge his father. Ike serves Princess Alincia as, pers as personal bodyguard until he slays Mad King Ashnard. Allowing Alincia to rise to Crimean throne. 
You see, that's cool. That's really cool. What Ike has done during the events of Path of Radiance. Oh, okay. Okay, we got Lindis at number nine. <laughs> well, I. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I. I mean, I'm sure Lindis is really popular for various reasons. It's and for I the thighs. It's for the thighs. Yeah. Yeah, it's for the thighs, and she actually has jiggle physics. All right, I approve of that too. I'm not even joking, Jacob. She actually has jiggle physics in a GBA game. That's crazy. You could actually look it up for yourself. <laughs> Lindis enjoyed a happy childhood in the open plains with her parents until the Talaver bandits invaded their camp and murdered the majority of her tribe, leaving her as one of the few survivors. She wanders alone on a solitary journey until she chances upon an aspiring tactician, Mark, and nurses him back to health. The two work together to dispatch a ruffian group and travel together and make many allies to form Lindis's Legion. And there's police sirens. I uh, gotta, lo gotta love that, too. Oh, we do. But, uh, my, my problem with Lin, however, is not Lin herself, but the way she's written. My problem with Lin is... Okay, the, the biggest problem that I have with Lin is that she... She is literally seen as a background character throughout most of the games in FE7. Really? Basically, they didn't give her much dialogue. So, yeah. she's, she's not written very well. Good to know. Yeah, and she doesn't have dialogue. Wow. Well, yeah, she's, yeah, she's basically a generic background character. Alright, we got Lucina at number 8. Well, I like me some Lucina. Lucina is flat, just like her personality. <laughs> um. Yeah, this list you know, just this list just goes over the characters. It doesn't actually you know, Jake, like say anything else. You know who else has a similar character arc, just like Lucina? What? Selif. From what? From Fire Emblem Four: Genealogy of the Holy War, the main character of the second generation. Oh, I see. She's like that, but not as interesting as Selif. Um, let me, uh... Let me just lower your volume a bit. But then again, people don't like Selif that much. More than Sigurd. I mean, I've never even heard of Selif until you just told me. Jacob, I literally show you a Fire Emblem Heroes artwork of him. I still forgot. <laughs> we'll get to Fire Emblem 4 soon. Alright, number 8. Wait, no. Number 7 is Roy, our boy. <laughs> Roy is not even that much of an interesting character to interact with. <laughs> oh, sorry to say this, but... Roy literally constantly talks throughout the entire game. You, like, just, you it, just complained about Lindis not talking a lot, and now you're complaining about Roy talking too much? <laughs> Roy, I mean, it literally focuses on Roy too much, and not... And no... Literally, there's... Literally, Roy, all Roy does is talk to... To one of his peers... Basically, basically, there's not much story in Fire Emblem Six, but I only the only way to like Fire Emblem Six more is to enjoy the world building. Yeah, that's something, I guess. Yeah. So, who else is on the list? Hmm. I mean, you can start the mission. I'll tell you throughout the throughout the stream. Okay. A small troop approaches from the east. Appears to be the Day in Liberation Army, dude. Who the fuck is this guy? I don't even know what he looks like. Oh, blissfully ignorant of the trap that awaits them. I pity them, really. Have the first platoon assume their battle positions. Mm. Yo, this guy's cringe. <laughs> Shall we deploy two? Kind of you to offer, Lady Fiona, but the first platoon will suffice here. This is really none of Murado's business. Mm. 
Damn, I did not know Shulk was in the business. <laughs> the Monado's business. I see. In that case, we'll use this opportunity to observe the Empire's army at work. Well, holy shit. Holy everybody's shit, still... dude. Huh, so everybody's still involved. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think I have some keepers that I want. Roy is chosen keep... to fight against bandits attacking his land at only 15 years old due to his father's illness. Who? What, what are you talking about, Jacob? I'm, re I'm reading the list. <laughs> oh, okay. You're talking about uh, Roy, right? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, Roy is not even that good as a main character. Is it? But uh, if somebody was better to fill that role as a main character, it would be one of it would be one of the char one of the characters uh, Roy's friends with. Roy's friend. Yep. Basically, <laughs> Roy doesn't even find find a cure for Ellie Wood's illness. Well, that's why Ellie Wood is so old. Yep. Well, I mean, not really. He looks... He literally looks like he's in his 40s. He looks old. You know who else is old? Who? No. Hector. Oh yeah, the main yeah. protagonist of Link Arena. Yep, and uh, he died in Fire Emblem 6. Oh man, well at least he gets to be in Link Arena. That's pretty cool. And Fire Emblem 7. And Link Arena. And 7. And Link Arena. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so, like I said, the units that I want to keep is Micaiah, Soth, Vold. Wait, Vold? Yeah, Vold. And, uh... <laughs> Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. <laughs> and, uh, who else? I'm definitely gonna keep Nolan, that's for sure. You, get, you gonna keep Ileana? And I'm also gonna keep, uh, Laura. And Laura, because you need a healer. Yeah. Yeah, Ileana, and definitely Jill. Jill. Yeah, I'm keeping Jill. And I could... It could depend if I want to keep Zyhark or not. Because I mean, he, I I mean know, yeah, I he know, is a pre-promo already. Yeah, but he is good. I'm not gonna he, say that he's terrible. He's another Jagan. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, I think I'm gonna start. No, no funny introduction cutscene, I guess. Yeah, we already got to see Anna, I'm happy. Ooh, another... Another map music. Ooh. Also, this list really sucks. You wanna know why? Why? They put Byleth at number six. Yeah, why? Why would you put Byleth over Ike? That's that, gross. Why? That's just, that's just terrible. Dude, Byleth doesn't even talk in three houses. I'm serious, Jacob. Byleth can't talk. Yeah, that's pretty mid if you ask me. He's he's basically persona silent protagonist. Yeah, he's like Here's... Dork he's like Dorkun. Yeah, he or she is basically like Dorkun Chad Yuru. Which is really unfair. See that's the great see that's the great thing why uh Byleth works so well in fan art, because Byleth doesn't need to talk. So you get you you see what you see is what you get, pretty much. Exactly. Just rely on female Byleth's looks. Exactly. Alright, well this list already sucks. Who's at number six? Alright, at number five we have Robin. I mean, I don't think that's a bad choice. That's that's okay. Yeah. I mean, I, right. I honestly like the female Robin. In a foreboding dream, Robin fights alongside Krom against Validar. Just as Validar is defeated, Robin is overcome by an evil force that forces them to attack Krom. Robin wakes like... up in Krom's company and refers to him by name. You know, Jacob, I kind of prefer Robin as a baddie. Daddy Robin, same. Yep. <laughs> okay, you wanna, you wanna know? Take a wild guess. Who is at number four? Hector? You're a fucking idiot! <laughs> of course, Edelgard. 
<laughs> why is why she at, why is she at number four? Born is the ninth child of Emperor Ionis the Ninth. Edelgard is a student at the Officers Academy in Garrig Mock Monastery as the house leader of the Black Eagles. She and her siblings were imprisoned underneath the Imperial Palace during her childhood and subjected to cruel experiments by those who slither in the dark that left her the only sane survivor. Jiga, people really hate Edelgard for various reasons. I'll take a wild guess who's at number three. Is it Claude? It's Dimitri. <laughs> of course, Dimitri. <laughs> this oh. list fucking sucks. This, this this list is literally so based on three houses. It's already have three. There's already three three houses characters. Why can't it have variety? I swear to God, this list has Marth at number one. This is gonna be the shittiest list of all time. <laughs> I don't think it'll be Marth. Who's get, who's in second place? Claude. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna read a little bit. Demetrius was born as the eldest son of King Lambert in the Holy Kingdom of Faragus. In his, more like Asparagus. In his youth, <laughs> he endured the tragedy of Dusker as its only surviving royal, caused by those who slither in the dark. The tragedy not only cost him, him many friends and family, but birthed a vicious bloodlust in him. Alright, number two, Krom. Okay. Oh, Krom. Krom's okay. alright. I don't mind Krom. Krom is the Prince of Haladin of, of Elis, a descendant of the hero King Marth in the first Exalt. Krom hey, bears the Marth of Exalt on his right shoulder. Ooh, different... Oh yeah, Jacob, you wanna know what Dimitri reminds me of, design-wise? With the eye patch and stuff, he reminds me of Big Boss. Yeah, except the Big Boss was a wuss. Well, yeah, obviously. And Big Boss has a beard. Yeah. And he's not blonde. You, you know who else has a beard? Who? Solid Snake in, middle, in uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> There's no it's doubt about really... that. No doubt about it. But Good yeah, job Krom... on dancing, Ileana. But yeah, Krom, not a bad choice, but... It's not that exciting, but... All I could say is that he is a lot better than Marth. Yeah, I'd rank Ileana higher than all of them. Yeah, same. And I can't believe that Ileana has increased freaking uh, de defense and res. Good on her. Alright, number one. Marth. Wow, this list fucking sucks. <laughs> wow, Marth. Not even Marth. reading that. Jacob, I... Jacob, I'm sure you've seen Marth's characteristics in Shadow Dragon before. Yeah, he, he'll say shit like, keep your eyes open. And shit. Yeah. Boring. Worst yeah, list Marth ever. Fuck you, so, CBR. I, Your list sucks. So look, I get that Marth is the first main character that... First main character of the series, but he also kind of sucks. He's not even that interesting as a character. I mean, I played I, I played a bit of Shadow Dragon. I didn't think he was that great. He's only he's only he's only like as popular as he is because he was the first FE protagonist. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. That's the only reason why. Honestly, I'm surprised that Micaiah isn't even here. Hey, where's Micaiah? And honestly, at? honestly, I would honest honestly, Jacob, I would rank Micaiah even higher than the rest of the characters. I mean, at least one of the main characters, but yeah. I honestly love Micaiah so much. And I you do like me some Micaiah. And I do and I do kinda like her personality. Even though she is kind of portrayed as the Mary Sue. Like I'm not even joking, she is like the Mary Sue. If you know what if you know <sighs> what if you know that trait that is. Uh, basic bitch, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. She is pretty basic, but I do find her charming nonetheless. Yeah. I mean, Makaya still she still has a lot more going for her than the Avatar characters of modern FE. Yeah, exactly. I don't think Jill can do that much damage. She can do ten damage. <laughs> Oh, I think, I think that's why she can't do that much damage. 
What? They're all armor knights? Not just that, but they have swords. Oh. You just need to give Jill, like, um, a weapon that, like, kills knights. You need, like, a, like a knight killer or whatever. Ooh, she's also B-ranked at axes. Nice. She all she could also wield the Irvin. Was Jill always an axe user? I seem to remember her using lances. Once she promotes, she will carry spears. Oh, that might be why. So yeah. Hmm. Damn, Jill's awesome. She can wield an axe and ride a dragon at the same time. Well, wyverns are dragons, so yeah, it is really cool. Or wyvern. Well, she's a wyvern rider, yeah. I mean, wyverns are dragons, so that that counts for something. Yeah. I watched a video of someone just bitching about the the character designs in in a game shape. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, I do like. Well, I mean, there are character designs that I really do like. One of my one of my favorite character designs is Ivy. Oh well, yeah, Ivy's great. I love Ivy so much. I mean, I don't hate the character designs as much as people do, normally do, but I, I get I get where they're coming from. They're a bit more like weird Cartoon. and like over the top compared to like you know. I mean, if you look at you know someone like So, he's just like you know he's just a dude with a knife. <laughs> yeah. Which, honestly, I kind of do like. I kind of like characters who look normal-looking. Yeah, he's very normal-looking. Like, and he that... got a good level up! Damn, and he leveled up his weapon. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I was in the bandwagon of hating the, the characters from Engage. <laughs> but when I played through Engage, I actually enjoyed it much more than I thought. Hmm. I kind of think of like, what's a character that I like that everybody hates? You know, I think I think uh, I think Fr I think Fram is kind of overhated. <laughs> I mean, you could say the same thing about Gold Mary. People mm -hmm. hate Gold Mary so much. I mean, Gold Mary is just fan service. Yeah, but people just really. I only say this why, because why people do people really... hate her? What? Because she's sensitive. Yeah, she's very insecure. Oh, yeah, you, you complained about that in, in uh, Zeppi's streams. Yeah. yeah, I know. You want to know why she's insecure? Why? Because she wants to be either even even more beautiful than she already was, or she doesn't want to get fat. <laughs> at least that's at least that's what it says on the Japanese script of Engage. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember, the, the script for Engage for Japan is actually a lot more different than the West, because they had to change a few more things. Yeah, I hate what they did with the English script. I, I actually I actually watched a cutscene of, like, Etie and, um, Goldberry, and <laughs> it's really funny, because, like, Goldberry is just like, oh, I'm so voluptuous. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Jacob. That's literally <laughs> what I'm trying to say. It's so funny, though. She is... Do you see why I call her insecure? Yeah. I think Jill really needs more EXP. No, that is... It is really funny, though. She just... She just, like... Also, yeah, I don't know what's going on. My, my game's kind of, like, lagging. <laughs> Probably because I'm rendering a video in the background. Nah, uh, you'll be fine, Jacob. Yeah, I won't lose sleep over it. Or at yeah. least try to... The best we can do right now is at least try to finish three chapters. Yeah, I wanna try and finish three chapters. I mean, it'll, it'll go it'll go by faster if I just talk about random bullshit like I've because, been doing. Because to me, three chapters are more accessible than two chapters because I think two chapters is a bit short. Well, it depends how long you take each chapter. Yeah, I guess so. I got you, a coin? You got a coin, good job. Um, oh. Oh, I think she'll be fine. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, oh, that damn. thing is 
Yeah, that Pegasus Knight is dead either way. Damn, she doubled. <laughs> she doubled the Pegasus Knight. I'm also noticing that that flyers are really slow to battle. At least two flyers. Still faster than all of Path of Radiance's battles. Oh, I don't think she'll hit. 30%? Yep. Remember, weapon triangle advantage. Oh. I always forget about the weapon triangle. Just remember it well. Oh, I think I know why. Very speedy. Speed? I think she'll miss. Aww. Yep. At least, at least Ileana got to dance. Yeah, true. She got to dance. Yep. And she levels up! Oh, she maxed out... Uh... Thunder. That's good. Doesn't it go up to S rank? If she becomes a sage. Oh, okay. Or at least being a third tier class. Definitely make her a sage. Oh, I will. I mean, in a lot of cases, this game does look a little nicer than Path of Radiant. So this is the Wii. Yeah. I feel like the models are slightly better. It's, it's mostly on those. The environments still look kind of, kind of boring, honestly. I get your point, but... Oh, it's it, it, a hammer. It, re it just reeks of, like, early, early, like, 3D gaming. You know? The kind of shit you'd see on, like, the PS2 and all that. Well, you gotta remember that... That this is... The Wii is not that strong. It's not strong. It's not as strong as the freaking the freaking Xbox 360 and the PS3. Oh yeah. Is the, the Wii the, that... the Wii is literally just two game cubes glued together. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, is that the Wii actually has a much better library than than the PS3. I will say that. I can only think of, like, five PS3 games that I'd actually want to play right now. Like Metal Gear Solid? Metal Gear Solid 4, Little Big Planet, um, Mod Nation Racers. Neptunia. Neptunia. Um, mm. Twisted Metal Bible? 2012. Why Twisted Metal? I played that game growing up. You really, you really like Twisted Metal, don't you? Even though I've only played one Twisted Metal game, I liked it. Which one? The PS3 one. That was the last one they ever made, and then they stopped making Twisted Metal games. Why not play the why not play one of the old games such as Twisted Metal 1, Twisted Metal 2, and Good. I think that could be a fun idea. People say that Twisted Metal 2 is one of the best in the series. Well, I'll be the judge of that. I'd rather not hear which one's the best and just go in. Good overkill, I, I would say that. Good job, Jill. Yeah, the lag, the lag is real. Maybe I should close something. Is there anything that I don't need open right now? Will you do that? I'm going to take a whiz. Okay. It says previews disabled. Oh yeah, I did that to save up some space. That's fine. It should run just a little bit better now. I hope you're right about that. Never mind, it's not running that much better. I should probably turn off my computer next time I go to bed. You know, I think that's a good idea. I, I always turn off my computer whenever I get sleepy. Or as people say, EP. <laughs> EP? Yeah. I feel wait, I, wait I, have, I have one more way I can fix this. What? Let me go to let me go to melt and uh, put it on low priority. Low quality. Yeah. Once you finish doing all your shenanigans, let's talk about the most important thing that everybody needs to know. 
Hmm. What might the that be? <laughs> the events that might turn into a disaster slash Armageddon for tomorrow's announcement. Oh yeah, yeah, go on about that. The thing is that I am not I I am not I'm not excited for the new direct that's about to happen tomorrow. Don't worry, Zeppy said he wasn't excited either. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't think there's not gonna be there's gonna not not be much new game new games that will pique my interest. Dare I say Dare I say there's not gonna be much good games in <laughs> that might uh, not look interesting. I hope there's at least one good game in the direct. I mean the one good game that we have, uh in the last direct mini from the partnership was Shin Megami Tensei uh, 5 Vengeance. I don't even think I watched that. <laughs> but yeah, we already know about SMT 5 Vengeance. That game is good. Yeah, even Gnarly uploaded his uploaded a video. <laughs> he uploaded his it. thoughts. Yeah, he uploaded his thoughts about it. Well, his first impressions at least. He said that the gameplay or at least the story actually improved from the last one. Great. I'm glad I waited to play that, because now I have a definitive version. Yeah. And it will be... A... It's going to be a lot better than the than the vanilla version. I'll say much of that. And you can play... Like I said, you can play it on PC. Which makes it even better. And thank goodness yeah. it's not a Nintendo exclusive. Thank God. Just like what happened with freaking uh, SMT4 Part 1 and Apocalypse. I mean, I know Aaron's playing through Vengeance. Powerful oh, doggy. Have... Well, it's a wolf. Yeah, which in turn is a doggy. The more dangerous dog. The more dangerous doggy. That's it. Wow, great move, guys. Well, I already, I already, um, I showed you my bingo, but I don't know if anybody else has, has heard about my bingo yet. I don't know if I've told the chat about okay. my bingo. I'm going to do, I might do a risk factor on this one. <laughs> there is a chance that, that, that I might miss. You might miss. But... It's possible that I can get a perfect damage. And I did it! I literally got perfect damage. <laughs> Good job, Joe. Damn. Not a bad level up. I mean, she I... got strength. I'll s she doesn't even get strength. I forget where I put my bingo. I'll find it. I, I know I put it in chat somewhere. Either in chat or stream chat. One of the two. Mm. I found it. That was easy. <laughs> All right. So on my bingo, we have um, Zel something Zelda related. <laughs> That's the top left spot. It's guaranteed that we're gonna get something that's Zelda related. Yeah. I still don't really care about Zelda all that much. Even though I've played like four Zelda games on my channel, I still don't really care about Zelda that much. You've played Wind Waker, you've played Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Link to the Past. Yeah, Link to the Past. You... I've played Zelda 2 on my own time, like, six years ago. Well, Zelda 2 kind of difficult. Yeah, but it's really fun, because it has a leveling system, so you actually get, like, experience and shit. People say that Dark Link is one of the toughest final bosses you've ever... that anybody has ever seen, because he... Literally, Dark Link mimics... Mimics everything that you do. Yeah. Which is honestly, I honestly think it's really cool. I haven't played a Zelda game in like two years now. I was gonna play, I was gonna play um, Twilight Princess last summer, but I, I was doing, I was, I was moving, and I don't really feel like doing it this summer either. So I'm just never gonna get to it. That's just sad, man. Yeah, but it's whatever. I want to do the games that I really feel like doing. I don't want to force myself to play any games. That's understandable. Yeah. 
All right, so I have some joke, some joke slots on here too. One of them just says Doug fucking Bowser. <laughs> Yeah, Doug Bowser. Yeah, Doug Bowser showing up. Even though he's not the good Bowser. He's not Blazer. Okay, he's not Blosser. He's not Bowler. He's not Charlie and Friends. Yep, he's not Jack Black. Or Jack Frost. <laughs> or Black Frost. Or Frost and Flakes. <laughs> or Falcon Flakes. <laughs> he has Falcon Flakes. Yep. Hmm. Wow, this this is actually kind of a quick chapter, if I gotta say so myself. Easy. Hmm. Uh, I have a I have new Yoshi game. New Yoshi game would be kind of cool. Oh, I, I still- I, I still have yet to play Wooly World. I don't think a crit would matter. He has a killing edge. <laughs> yeah, but... 12 damage, I don't think that's too threatening. If I find the killing edge is in, um... Smash Ultimate. Yeah, which is kinda weird. <laughs> Damn, 36 hit rate? Damn, good doggy. Which, with the terrible... Terrible growth rates. And he has a steel axe! Okay, that's kind of bad. Oh no. Nah, he'll be fine. Oh, and you're just gonna be a pussy and heal. Well, I can do that too. Oh shit, there's and more they're units. Uh, next up I have Star Fox, please. That's another thing I have on my list. Honestly, have... I, think... I think we need another Star Fox game. Another Star Fox would be pretty cool. Um, I have new amiibo revealed. Because <laughs> I have a feeling there's... they're going to reveal a new amiibo in the direct. I think it's possible. I mean, I basically just put everything I could fucking think of on that bingo. Holy shit, he can Ooh. shoot laser beams out of his sword. Yeah, I don't know why my dolphin's so laggy today. It's kind of shitty. Oh well. Um, I have Mario and Luigi comes back. Seeing a new Mario and Luigi game would be awesome. It would be nice. Doesn't... I don't really mind that, you know, I don't really care if it's, you know, not done by Alpha Dream, as long as, like, someone capable can take the series and do something with it. Oh, we get to see Jim Carrey in action! Hooray for Jim Carrey! What class, what class is he supposed to be? He's a general, right? Yeah, he's a Lance General. Lance General. Okay. Um. Now, as, I hate, as much as I hate to admit it, there might be a there might be a cringe update. Oh shit! Why are we getting another spoon update? Yeah, I don't know. There might be a spoon update, so I wrote that down. Um, I replaced my Nintendo Switch Two information with a uh, Mario Party. There might be a new Mario Party reveal. <laughs> You know, Jacob, if there's gonna be another Spoon update, I'm gonna say that I am black. <laughs> You're infamous for being black? Yes, I am infamous for being black. <laughs> <laughs> that joke will never die. It won't. Oh yeah, we it's have like... we have the best uh, bingo slot farming sim game. There's gonna yeah. be a farming game in the direct. Damn. Not doing too good. Uh, Mario Movie 2 news, and it's just a picture of Chris Pratt. I don't think we'll ever going to get that. You never know, man. Ooh, Ad app. Damn, bro. Chill. He just... He just threw him. 
He, he did fucking, like, a fake ether. <laughs> yes, he did. Indeed. Uh, I wrote- I have a Faya emblem written down, and it's just a picture of, uh, Byleth Booba. Oh my god, let me see. Um, no, I'm too lazy. It's not actually Byleth's Booba, I lied. It's a picture of a female Byleth doing a think emoji pose. Okay, that's kind of funny. Yep. Uh, this one's not gonna happen, but I wrote down Paper Mario 64 Remake. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice if we did get one. And we have free space. Uh, I wrote down copyrighted music lol. Copyrighted music lol. What Cause is there that? might- there might- there might be copyrighted music in the direct. Possibly. And, and, and the icon is just the Ubisoft logo because they make the Just Dance games. Everything but speed for Makaya, apparently. That is just depressing. At this uh, point, I get, you know, Jacob, at this point, I have to get a speed wing. Yeah. So she could at least survive, and she is close to getting magic and res, which I wouldn't say is good. Next up, I have new NSO games written down, which won't matter because I don't have access to NSO anymore. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm banned! <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I'm banned, so NSO doesn't fucking matter. Oh yeah, I forgot to do something. <laughs> I forgot to do something. Yeah, heal up. Heal up Edward. I'm pretty sure there's a character in Full Metal Alchemist called Edward. Yeah, the, yeah you are right about that. I don't know why I got reminded of that. I mean, I don't think you would be the type of person to watch Full Metal Alchemist since I don't think there's much episodes made. Yeah. I'm taking, I mean, I'm still taking a break from Sailor Moon, but I will eventually watch Season 2. I could name a few reasons why you love Sailor Moon that much. Why? Eh, you know why. <laughs> Elijah says, wear Byleth. Shut up, Elijah. <laughs> Nobody fucking cares about my list. Unless you want some Byleth sauce, I can also send that. Anyways, next up we have Metroid Prime 4. Maybe it's finally time. I don't think we'll ever get Metroid Prime 4. And I, I have- here's the stupidest- the stupidest one. It's just- it just says monkey. And it's the Putin monkey <laughs> the image. <laughs> What, what does monkey mean? Uh, just a game involving a monkey. Is it gonna be Monkey Ball or Donkey Kong? Monkey Ball, yeah, probably. Donkey um, Kong, wish. I wish it could be Donkey Kong. That's a se that's a separate slot, but I'll, but I'll get to that. Um, I also have I don't know something indie. <laughs> I wrote that down. Um. Uh, the next slot is any kind of DLC. <laughs> so if a game gets DLC, I just mark that off. Honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, the next one is just an image of Patrick sleeping, and it says, Wasted time on games we already know are coming out. Because <laughs> I fucking hate when Nintendo does that in their directs. They just waste like an entire slot saying, like, Hey, remember this game we talked about two months ago? Yeah, we're still working on it. Like I don't care. Yeah, make it make it like a make it like a Twitter post about that or something instead. I don't need to also sad Iliana missed. See Iliana got speed, but not Makaya. She's gonna max out her speed before Il before Makaya even gets some speed level up. Well I mean she's not gonna get twenty speed. Next up oh, I have Pokemon Pokemon news. Poke me, man. We have um, one that says get a guest star from a celebrity. So if a that's celebrity, if a celebrity's in the direct, that's bound to happen. Might happen. Yeah, some shit. Hey, what? what? Why do you? Why do you just go up and whack you? I I honestly have no clue. That was funny. He just went. Ugh. 
Honestly, I think that's kind of funny. Now you're not going to escape. Um, F zero is the next slot. Holy F zero be nice. Okay, that chapter was really short. Oh, you're done. Not even any boss. That was just that was just it. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, is this one of those like double chapters? Yeah, it is. Oh, I see. Okay, you know, I this think... is that yeah, this is more like it. Ooh. <laughs> wait, Paragon? Let's you acquire the skill Paragon when you're out of I forgot what Paragon oh. does. Oh, I think I know what Paragon does. Basically, it, uh... Basically, this is for EXP. EXP? Wait, yeah, I, have an I have an idea on how to make this game run better. Look, look at the lag. The lag is real. But yeah, Paragon <laughs> is basically for quick EXP. Why is it so laggy? Jeez. Is it because I overclocked it or something? Yeah, I think you did. I don't know how to fix this. Look at that. Why the fuck is Brave active? Fuck off, Brave. Why do you have Brave browser? I have my Brave. I had my browser open, bro. Okay, f fuck off, I guess, Brave. I don't know why you're using all that CPU. Okay, there. I fixed it. Now, this is my kind of chapter. We still have units that we need. And I think I'm ready. Yeah, it says stage two. It says stage two. Huh. A uh, Tetris event. <laughs> I wrote down. And Ooh. then and then DK Donkey Kong. Honestly, I would like to have another Donkey Kong game. Another another uh, Donkey Kong game would be pretty nice, honestly. Yeah, it would. I think I think Nolan needs more experience. Yeah, you haven't used them yet. Yeah. Also, I like the different battle theme music. Is it better than the pre is it better than the previous one? Oh, definitely. Because this is where things start to get really tense. Okay, this one I think this guy really needs to die because he has a ballista. Oh, yeah, I hate ballistas. Honestly, I hate ballistas in general. <laughs> yeah, the ballista chapter in uh, Path of Radiance kind of sucked. You really did. Remember, remember the one with the boulders, the boulder chapter. <laughs> the boulder chapter. The only one I, I the, the only one I remember is the one that had fucking Nutella roaming around the map. Yeah, I remember Nutella being really that tough. Yeah, he was he was crazy. He was like the hardest enemy in the game, next to um. What one Ashnard. If he's in Berserker mode, then yes. Honestly, Berserker we're... mode. Basically, uh, Ashnard in Berserker mode maxes out his strength by 40, defense. Basically, second phase uh, Ashnard. Where he, ha yeah. where he has the freaking green wyvern. Yeah, second phase Ashnar's pretty crazy. Yeah, we never got to see that, though. Yeah. It's really unfortunate, really. But at least... We know the idea of what it is. Yeah, I showed a video of it. When we yeah. finished our Path of Radiance playthrough. The video of Ashnar touching the medallion? Yeah. That's why... That is the reason why frickin' Grail went berserk. 
or at least Gwen went berserk because he touched the medallion just a tiny bit. Yeah. Ooh. I am. I am honestly scared. This is gonna be a rough chapter. Yeah, <laughs> it will be. Here he comes. Oh, okay. And rip Elf Thunder. Well, at least Elf Thunder live out its use. Now it's time for Jim Carrey to save Ileana. <laughs> Good job, Jim Carrey. Yeah, I might have to lower. I might have to lower my OBS settings next time. Oh, cool, a red gem. Ooh, you just get free money. Yeah, I do. Eh, he has bad bio rhythm. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to survive with that bad bio rhythm. I think we'll be fine. Damn. It's better safe than sorry. But I am not willing to risk risk a freaking ballista to attack Micaiah. Because we all know how fragile Micaiah is. Bro. I'm just gonna lay down. Oh, so far I have more units that are valuable than useless. Ooh. And oh, I that's have, good. And I have four that I'm not going to use. Oh, and it has. At this rate, they'll breach our lines before we can stop them. Mm. I have no choice. You, bring out the prisoners. Oh. Oh, shit. That's not good. I'm scared, please don't hurt me, dude! Lord Laverton, exactly what are you planning to do? This so-called Liberation Army is forcing me to sacrifice this boy. Help. No. Micaiah! Fight, and these people will be executed right now. Surrender. Everyone, throw down your weapons. You have a feeling, don't you? Got it. We'll follow your instinct. <laughs> a wise choice, girl. Well, no need for these prisoners, is there? Kill them all. No! What do you think you're doing? I'll have nothing to do with you and your monstrous tactics. <laughs> oh, okay. They're freeing the prisoners, I guess. So, you betray us after all? Monado's never been known for holding his faith. He'll die like the rest. A troop of Dane... Dane Calvary? Just... mutinated? Is this what you sense? Yes. We must reinforce them and help to save the hostages. Hey, you got a lot of green units suddenly. Yeah. But they really Pretty. do need my help after all. Pretty nice. I, mean, I feel like they can move at least a little faster. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna use Ileana for that much because she is about to max out her level. Damn, no more Ileana, I guess. Well, I'm still gonna use her in dangerous situations. 
Because... You just ping me. Because think about this. It w I would literally waste EXP if Eliana was already maxed out. Oh, Seb's just bitching about how long it took me to upload Paper Jam Part 1. Come on, man, I'm trying. Yeah. YouTube, YouTube made it really hard for me. Yeah, I actually feel sorry for Jacob, what he's dealing with. I mean, thankfully, my channel's in good standing now. Well, that's good to hear. No more guideline strikes. Your channel could have been deleted if you uploaded too many controversial things. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm somehow, somehow, my channel is still, still going. <laughs> I don't I'm know just, how. You know, Jacob, I really miss YouTube being edgy. Yeah. <laughs> it's honestly not the first time I ever say this to anything of what edginess makes good, do. Hmm. Now the other side, however, will deal, will deal because <laughs> will deal. I'm gonna send my two strongest uh, characters over there because I because I think it would be a good idea. Well, you know what, Nolan will help, and you'll have your healer on standby. Yep. That's what this is all about. Not sure where he'll go. And I have to worry about the ballista that's happening. Oh yeah, the ballista still sucks. Get. Well, that's not good. Definitely not. And here comes the horse guy. And there He's goes and there goes the horse guy. He was going going to die by the hands of the wolf. Yep, the doggy is carrying. Yeah, because he has a lot of HP. And Damn. fast. Damn, like the goose units are were so fucking good. They are great. I love how they live with exactly one health. So they get to live. And they get to live another day. I think... He missed. Murado KN. Monado, boy. Now it's time for this bozo to die. <laughs> with a high crit accuracy. 45% crit. <laughs> he just threw him like a piece of trash. <laughs> he just fucking throws him. That's crazy. It is insane. Also, I actually noticed that you were playing MGS1 recently. I wonder why. Yeah, I am. Ooh, what does Converse mean? Ileana, try to stay safe. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm so hungry. If you could spare some rations. Great, great, dial great dialogue, you two. Hey, Jacob, that's what supports actually do. They actually do support in the battlefield. 
Great, we got to hear Ileana talk about how she's hungry again. <laughs> Rip Ileana. I guess it's better for Jill to go over there. She can go wherever she wants. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, he stole your kill. Oh no! Oh, that's awful! Oh no, he shot at your doggy. I don't think I was able to make it in time. It's not like there's a turn limit. Yeah, there's no turn li turn li limit, but I don't think I will won't get that much rewards. Oh. Yeah, if you basically save, if you save everybody, you will get so much rewards. But what if you so what did someone die? Yeah. One of your green units died? Yep. Aw, oh, dang, that sucks. But at least I will get a few rewards. Just a few. Aw, oh, good old hand axe. I don't think I'll get... I don't think I'll get... I'll land a hit. Oh wait, I did! 60% chance. And that level up sucked. It did. I... I didn't get strength, unfortunately. Dang. But she got defense. That's something, I guess. Ooh, that is something. Benyon is scum. Damn, just one javelin took that guy out. Well, I mean, look how... I mean, have you seen his strength? He's got some pretty damn good strength. Yeah? His damn. strength is really damn good. 24 attack. Crazy. I wonder, I, he's gonna, I wonder if he's gonna be one of those units who, like, are really amazing early on and then they just fall off later. I don't think that would be the case for Jim Carrey. He'll be fine. Wonder what the wiki thinks. But what the Scott think? Well, thank goodness there's no more, no more archers to use the ballista. Yeah, thank God. It's like how Etta can use the ballista. Exactly. Well, Anette is better in the Japanese version anyways. What makes you say that? Because she, uh, you know, she tells, uh, she tells Gold Mary to feel her abs. <laughs> what? Yeah. And literally, Nolan dodges. Good on him. I mean, that's a 50% like, hit rate on that guy anyways. Yeah, true. 61% hit rate. Which landed. Lucky duck. There's another archer who could potentially use the ballista. Man, why do all these guys have shitty hit rate? Eh, what can you do? Sometimes I would prefer... Uh... Units on the highest difficulty have better weapons than high stats. Because that would at least make a fair challenge. I feel like they do something like that in, like, Fates or whatever, right? 
Yeah, Fates. Fates has trash weapons. <laughs> trash weapons. Why do I say that? Well... What kind of monster are you? A subhuman? But there are no wolf subhumans. Don't just stand there. Say something, you vile beast. Ooh. Oh, what? You saw what just happened, right? He got paralyzed. More than that, he countered. Oh, damn, nice. I think it's better if I finish the chapter, right? Yeah, probably. But first, I'll give... I need Nolan to get experience. Just getting that little bit of extra experience. Because there's no way he'll miss with that n with a 95% chance. Damn! Right? You know, Jacob, I think it was a smart move, move for me to keep Nolan. Yeah, he just got like plus one in like every stat. He is really that good. Yeah. But I think it's best for me to... To dink. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I mean... Jim Carrey is that tanky. I think he needs to run away. Broke and dodge an arrow like it's nothing. Why don't we paralyze him? Good. Okay. I think it's best for me for... I think Vold needs needs to rest. Well, you gotta be careful that he doesn't come after him. Exactly. But I don't think that would be the case. Yeah, no, he's paralyzed. He can't do anything. What does paralyze do? Does it just lower your, how far you can move or something? Basically, you don't move. Oh, you don't move at all. Mm-hmm. I don't know for how long, but I think it's better to see the effects. The cause and effects. Yeah, I guess we'll see them in action in a little bit. Wonder if Jill can endure magic. I mean, knowing Wyvern Rider, Wyvern Riders have terrible resistance to magic. I'll wait and see. Oh, okay. It took him a turn to heal it up. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. <laughs> Yeet. Damn, good going, Jill. Even though the damage is nasty, I'm sure she'll be fine. You pretentious little fools. I'll show you how insignificant you are. Witness Benyon's might. Mm. Iliana gonna be okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, he didn't double, that's good. Oh, more backup units. It's the backup dancers. I'm not oh, willing to risk can almost kill him. I'm not willing to risk that. Can Makaya kill him? Yeah. Another converse? <laughs> converse again. Oh, Laura. Will this torture never end? Hours of fighting and no food in sight. Good to see you. May the goddess bless us and keep us safe. Like, I'm not gonna give her food. <laughs> she pushed her. Well, she's hungry. That's funny. Ileana has not changed at all. No, I don't think so. 
Hell White almost kills. Bonnie kills, though. Taking hostages of the helpless. Is that how nice of the Great Benyon Empire operate? Shut up, shut up, shut up. And he's dead. Yep. He'll just max out magic. Yay, finally! She, she finally got speed. Finally, she finally got speed. Took her so long. Uh, you disgust me. And you got Paragon. Okay, that chapter was really long. Dear boy, I'm sorry you had to suffer on her account. I wasn't scared. I knew the Dumb Brigade would save us. Thank you. Thank you for rescuing my people. Did I voice him? Oh yeah, I did. Try to give him the, the Eggman Jim Carrey voice. I forgot what the Jim Carrey Eggman voice sounds like. I mean, I could just give him, like, you know, an Eggman voice. Wait, I okay. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, the one that says, Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Your people, so you must be. Yes, I am Lindega's daughter, Fiona. After my father died, I assumed the governance of Monado. General Leven General Lavenza from the song? Lavenza. <laughs> Bryce Toronto. Gwen and Lavenza. Four riders of Dane, one country, one king. I did not know Lavenza was involved. Wow. A free Dane shall sing. You're that General Lavenza's daughter. Indeed, Lavenza of the Four Riders. He was a good friend, and a mighty swordsman as well, and stubborn as a mule. Your father was a powerful warrior of unquestionable integrity, a great man. Yes, and that's why he renounced his rank and title as writer and withdrew from court life, rather than serve King Ashnard or the Emperor. You've heard the rumors, no doubt, that the Emperor murdered his own father. My father could not serve such a man. And so to protect Monado from a madman, we did not send men to fight for Dane in the war. I doubt you could ever forgive us. No, quite the opposite. Here are these people's steward, and you chose the course that will protect them. But now Benyon's willing to sacrifice innocent children to maintain their grip over our country. We cannot allow that. That is why we are asking you to lend your strength to the Liberation Army. Together we can reclaim our country. And now you ask us to bear part of the burden of restoring our motherland? If you would have my lance, then I, Fiona, steward of Monado, do gladly swear allegiance to your Liberation Army. I use- I, I and my men bind ourselves to our, your fate. Use my army as you best see fit. Nice, we got some new guys. Or gals. Or gals. And, and there's Dane. Oh, oh god, look at these fucking guys. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> great. I think we found the thumbnail. And now, Monado betrays us as well. <laughs> fucking Jared. <laughs> Jared, the very angry guy. Yep. You are aware that riots broke out in three other regions yesterday, are you not? All qu all quills immediately. <laughs> all quills. Of course, the rest grows. <laughs> you should voice this guy too. <laughs> Okay. Who cares what the commoners do or think? But the shepherds fuss with his sheep. Butt head their <laughs> butt head. Butt head their heads against the fences post. Nevertheless, the ins <laughs> insurgents grows news of it will inevitably reach Benyon. You know what I think yeah. you should call this dude? <laughs> yes, Paisanos, I know what you mean. That would be less... 
than desirable for the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Oh damn, there's Sephiram. The Imperial Minister Sef Sephiram cast a grim eye on Dishonory. If he fa if he finds out what he's going after and Dane under our rule, that would not be good, Paisanos. Sephiram persist as a mosquito and quick to judge, my Paisanos. Though you and I know the you and I you <laughs> fuck, I can't speak. What's <laughs> his accent? Damn, and I thought Luke was bad at reading. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> though you and though you and I know I have been nothing but fair and just in my rule here with my with Luigi. Luigi. It's best It's best to avoid inequ inequity. And you go to hell before you die. <laughs> which leave which leaves us but one recourse crush the rebel fraction before it grows larger. Exterminate them, then the commoners <laughs> be fret of all hope will turn their sheep eyes back to us and rejoice the flock. And what's their obsession with sheep? I see, my paisano. Well, I'll leave the matter in your hands. What funding will you need? I'm glad we agree on this. Well then, pardon me, sir, while I tent our little lambs on the loose while you go watch your Super Mario show. <laughs> you know what you should call that guy? You should call him Numa Numa. <laughs> okay, sure. Why Numa Numa specifically? Because it said his name was Numita, so I'm gonna call him Numa Numa. <laughs> the liberation of okay, sure. the sweeping victory seems to signal a turn. You know he kinda looks like Al Pacino. <laughs> General Jared uses his superior. General Jared and threaten their fragile momentum. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> his fucking face and supplies and face <laughs> stolen from Day. Has also purchased the swords of Ben Benya. Benya. All he wants is to wa want to watch the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. What <laughs> about the Numa Numa guy? Oh, him? He's Numa just Captain, he's Captain just Numa Numa Lu. Captain Numa Numa Lu just wants to. He just wants to relive the glory days after he died. Yeah, before he went to hell before he died. Yeah, he went to hell before he died because. He just, just wants to revive drugs the... can and will kill. He just wants to revive the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Yeah, they're gonna get a third season. Which I wish would happen. Gathering hope. How long did that chapter take? It Probably an, an hour. It took an hour and 20 minutes? What the fuck? That was, well, that's that was a long two... chapter. Well, that's because it had two chapters. Does that count as us doing two chapters, or what? No, I mean it has two. It has two parts. Well, two stages. So. Okay. <laughs> As general staff officer of Dane's Liberation Army, allow me to outline my latest strategy. Excuse me, but shouldn't Prince P be here? There's no need to distract the Prince of the War's petty details. He won't be coming on any more meetings. He's he's stupid. From now on, consider my words the prince's own. I'm not sure that's... Enough idle chatter. Come have a glance, my pretties. Now he sounds like the Wicked Witch from the West. Our next target will be Umino. Among all the war camps, it's one of the largest. Eh, I said large. Conditions with the prison camp are harsh. If we are to save the prisoners, every moment matters. One of the one of the largest war camps. Can our forces handle it? Such a trivial concern, dude. And one of the, my profound genius I've already addressed. Behold this lake next to the camp that provides fresh water all there. Into this lake we shall dump <laughs> I said dump. A deadly toxin of my own devising. Yeah, I'm gonna take a dump. <laughs> we'll sit back. What are you saying? Poison's inexcusably vile. I'll agree to no such plan. 
<laughs> what was that, dude? You. How dare you question my plan? Conceived in a state of exalted meditation. No matter how misguided the enemy may be, we must fight with compassion and consideration for the innocent. She's right. Poison doesn't discriminate. Prisoners would die too. And any nearby villages would be affected. And then what would happen? People would know death would doubt us, question our cause, maybe even side against us. And it would cast a stain on Prince Helvis' name, don't you think? Yeah, it would be like when uh, Kefka poisoned the lake. Yeah, he's basically trying to so hard to be like Kefka. <laughs> he's Kefka butthead. Fine then, do as you like. When you find yourself utterly defeated, you can come crawling back to me, dude. Alright, bye, Kefka Butthead. My apologies to both of you. When Lord Kefka Butthead gets excited, he can lose all sight of reason. I apologize too, Jim Carrey. He stormed out because I... You don't need to apologize. You're in the right. I would never condone the use of poison. However, this does mean we must devise another plan if we are to use any hope of victory. Yes, you're right. In that case, what do you think of this strategy? Well, we'll my, find out my, my strategy is going to the menu. Well, we'll find out soon. But right now, I think I'm just going to level. Oh shit! I could do more than just. Okay, I, I could literally max out her level. Damn, crazy. Do you want to do that? Okay, sure Fuck it. Nope. Yes. Yes! She got 10 speed! <laughs> you know what's even funnier? What? She almost maxed out defense. Wow. I'm, I'm not joking, she she was this close to maxing out defense. You know what? I think my girl Liliana. Yay! The level up. Eh. I guess she got more speed, I guess. <laughs> she maxes out strength! Wow, good for her. <laughs> Um, yeah, sure, Jill can get a level up. Dude, you're just gonna max out Jill? Yeah. Well, I mean... No. Damn, I think, look at all that experience. I think she needs it more, Jacob. Alright, give Laura the experience. Good level up. Think good level up. Good. I think wow. all these levels are good. Wow, okay. Yeah, well, she's getting more speed. Ding. Wow. Okay, Jacob, I, I think I think Laura will be valuable if she promotes. Hell yeah. What can she do when she promotes? I hope she becomes an I hope I hope she becomes a saint. That'd be nice. Wait, Ileana is specifically a thunder mage? Huh? She's specifically a thunder mage, it says. Well, Jacob, I, th I think, uh... She, she, she's gonna become a thunder sage once she levels up. Hmm. Why, why did they split it up? Like, why can she only use thunder now and not, like, all of the magic? Because I think it's much easier if if she doesn't use any other any other uh, other tomes. I mean, it's not like it matter because you're only really focused on one tome in Path of Radiance anyway. Yeah, true. But I mean, having the option is nice. Like maybe you wanted to use fire with Eliana or wind or something. Yeah, but I don't I don't, be... I don't remember what you used with her in Path of Radiance. Yeah, neither do I. Honestly, I think the process of using multiple 
tomes is well different a fit different uh, elements of tomes would be too much time consuming yeah because you have to you have to level them each up individually yeah Ooh. vintage see okay you have okay. no you have no money though you should sell that red orb you got i don't think it will be enough no but you'll have like three thousand uh, at least Oh, you also have Paragon. You can give that to someone. Who deserves it, at least? Mm, depends what Paragon does. Does it tell you? Um... It gives you double experience. So... Oh, you can't give it to her, because she has shove already. And I can't remove it. Well, guess Laura's not getting it. Who I mean, not, who, who, who's far from leveling, from maxing out level? I mean, Jacob, if you think about it, Laura really needs it, because... I mean, constantly using stats would be really a, a very slow process. Yeah. Who else are you going to use? Nolan? You can't get, you can't get rid of... Wait, so they all have- they all have shove, and you can't get rid of shove. Yeah, it can't be removed. So who the fuck can you give it to, then? I mean, I- I- I mean, I could give it to Soph, but it would be a waste. Yeah, so you have to give it to someone who has more than 15 capacity. Maybe give I could give it- You can give it to Volude. Oh. Yeah, I can give it to- Is there anybody else who needs levels? Jim Carrey. I mean, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Jill? Jill? No, Jill can't get it. She has Kanto. What's that? Uh, Kanto. I, I wish I could tell me what Kanto is. Oh, wait, I could do this. Well, that was a unit that has not moved its full moon range to move the remaining amount at the end of its turn. Whatever that means. You know what? I will give it to Volk since each time he kills, uh, he does. He does. Uh, his XP is really slow. Oh, yeah, he still has like four more levels to go. Yeah. But like I said, his. Like, his, his EXP. Was actually eight. Yeah, it's eight. So you know what? I'll give it to him. There you go. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. Okay. Door. Magi. Hmm. You know what? Sure, I'll give I'll get El Thunder. I think I'm all set. But first, I'll save. Supports. Hmm. You can only support Makaya. <laughs> yeah. Well, it erases their support? Oh. 
Hmm. Jim Carrey. You can hang out with Jill. <laughs> Jill or Zyheart. You know what? Maybe I should. Maybe maybe Jill, since they have the same affinity. Yeah. Okay, that's actually good. One defense. Nice. I'm, I'm actually okay with that. <laughs> Ileana and Laura. Nolan and um hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't seen you been I haven't really seen you using Edward Leonardo or Aaron all that much. Nor Meg. So I don't think Nolan will have any supports for a while. Yeah. But yeah, I think those are the supports I'll go with. I mean, Nolan's so good, he doesn't need supports. <laughs> Come on, Nolan is cool. I mean, at some point, I will... I will, uh, change classes for... for Liana. Eventually, he'll have one. Oh, I actually like this map. Jur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, voice him. I don't know what voice I would give him. Give him, like, good. give him, like, Patrick's voice. What? Did the enemy attack? Spongebob! Yes, sir. The Liberation Army has mounted an assault on the gate. We require reinforcements. <laughs> Would be kind of funny if you did the fucking Spongebob voice. Because maybe, you maybe, that, maybe, maybe, maybe there'll be another guy that has Spongebob's voice. <laughs> They seek, they seek to free their men with Krabby Patties? My only guard shall stay here with me. Take the rest to squash those rebels from the Krusty Krab. Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> oh boy, 3 a.m. But sir, but sir, if your guard remains here, we'll be barely enough men to... Shut up, <laughs> Morty. Who do you think you're talking to, soldier? With my guard and and me at the at the ready, this camp will need no fear to attack with Krabby Patties. Understood? Now go, you goofy goober. You have you have your orders. And I he hate, just runs away. I hate SpongeBob Morty <laughs> pants. <laughs> SpongeBob Morty pants. <laughs> Looks like Jim Carrey has them distracted. They've left only a small force here to defend the camp itself. Perfect. That should make it easier for us to eliminate their defenses. Seize the camp and free the prisoners. Okay. Why is, so, why, why is Jim Carrey red? Oh, I see. I can't use him. Damn, why not? Cause he's not available. Oh man. He would have been helpful. He like, doesn't want Jill and Z-Heart. And maybe you, you'll use Fiona? I don't know. Yeah, it's likely that I might use Fiona. I mean, at least try her out. Hmm. Okay. Those stats might not be good. Damn. <laughs> Let's compare. Wow, okay. You know what? I'll still, I'll still stick with what you just said. Yeah, might as well try all the new units you get. Yeah. Well, at least she has a javelin. And, and the freaking True that, is, true that is something. And we have doors. Mario's favorite thing. Mario head. Mario here. Yeah. I know how Mario C's work. Oh, he has some nice music. Oh my god! He maxes oh. out defense. And he was close to maxing out strength. Crazy guy. 
Wow, I did not know Patrick ate so many Krabby Patties. <laughs> Patrick sure is a tough unit. Yeah, by eating all of them Krabby Patties. <laughs> yep. Actually, how about I just have, like, Task Manager in the corner here? Keep that an would, eye on, keep an eye on my kind of CPU usage. You know, that would kind of distract. Okay. It seems to be doing good, though. Hope you're right about that. I mean, it just kind of stutters here and there, which isn't too bad. Well, I'm bored again, so maybe I can look up some uh, funny, some funny articles. I'm sorry to hear that it. you're. I'm really sorry to hear that you're bored. Oh no, I just want to spice up the stream a bit. I understand. Let's see. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Delta gets disappointing update. What do you mean disappointing update? What? What are they talking about? Um, GameStop had a had an inaccurate leak date. Uh, wh wow. Okay, okay. She actually get does get doubled. Damn, that really sucks. So, so Fiona is just awful. That's that's kind of bad. But she she will at least kill. Fans will have to wait for our official word for, from, from Connie to know when the game's gonna come out. Well, why the fuck would you- why the fuck would you rely on GameStop on when Metal Gear Solid Delta's gonna release? Why even- why- what's even the point? Who's the smartass who would ever rely on GameStop? Doggy. Doggy did good. I like, See, I like, I mean, I like Raymu's dog. CJ, good look. Look at the experience. Got more than 20. Damn. I guess Paragon was actually a good idea. Well, apparently Snake Eater might release in November, but I kind of doubt it. They're, they're, they might release in October, if anything. Well, it might release 2025. Even David Hayter doesn't know when it's gonna come out. I mean, I don't think David Hayter was involved with the project. Well, well, I mean, he is in the trailers at least, but... Well, he's he's all chummy with uh, Konami right now, again. Really? Like, yeah, Konami Konami is like, a, uh, he's they're like friends with David Hayter again. They're getting oh. along with him. Like, uh, David Hayter did an interview with the, uh, new, like, director of, uh, Metal Gear Solid. And you wanna know who it is? Who? It's the guy who, 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 uh, directed, uh, Portable Ops. Awesome! That's actually really cool. Who the- oh, hey, this guy. I think you voiced him. <laughs> what do you think, Miriam? Is that the building Soth's in? Yo, it's, it's that guy. I forgot his name. I forgot who voiced him. You did. Most likely, little one, dude. And Ooh. who? The, who is this? Who is this baddie? Ooh, I like. Uh, oh, I'm liking how she looks. What is That's this, like, fine. What is this, Nutella's daughter or something? Hmm. You could say that. Not sure. Well, but, you, can, uh, you can you can voice her. <laughs> so. Are we, are we gonna help them? Or should we just stand here all day and twiddle our thumbs? What do you think? We're helping, of course. Keep up, Muram. Come on, Vika. Hey, boss. Wait a second. I'll be... Uh, he's already out of sight. How does he do that on, on those skinny barrack legs? Who do you think taught him how to run, dude? We better go after him, man. 
so Eh? Have no fear. Tormod's here. I'm coming to your rescue. Tormod, you crazy fool. I forgot who voiced him already. <laughs> I think I did. You can voice him. Fight for the trusty hero to save the day, I see. Still, quite the showman, eh, Tormod? It's like a reunion every moment of horror we're just here. Oh yeah, harm I show up. Alright, let's go wild. Wild ones. Ah. Ah, subhuman, it's a subhuman dude. Calm down. Just use fire magic for the beasts and wind for the birds. That'll do the trick. That child hasn't transformed yet. Damn, before he does. Fool, transforming ain't what I do, but I can do this. <laughs> get burned. Ah, uh, he's a mage. Fall back. Don't get too close to him. Lol, pussies. Who in the world are they? People I used to know. We'll introduce you to them later. But for now, let's concentrate on the fight. Focus on the fight. Watch the doors tutorial? Yeah, I don't fucking know what doors are. Betty. Yeah, yeah, neither do I. Hmm. I suppose they really do need help on the other side. And more support is always nice. Well, this chapter just got a whole lot more interesting. <laughs> We're just getting more callbacks from Path of Radiance. Yeah, that's, that, that's a W in my book. And yeah, now he, he just straight up kills that knight. And then that knight will die automatically. Which leads him to a level up. Dodge. Yeah, this wolf is literally useful. Yeah, Volug's great. Yeah, he has 50 strength now. Wait, no, 50 HP. Yeah, this guy is... This guy will literally last that long. He's giving, uh... He's giving, um... What's her name? Leith a run for her money. We'll see Leith eventually. Yay, you get to see the kitty again. It's always nice to see the kitty again. I wonder if she'll be as OP as she was in the last game. Yeah. Not sure, but we'll just find out soon. Oh yeah, how do you feel about the fact that Metal Gear Solid Delta is going to have a, like a nostalgia filter um, as an option? I think it's nice. I don't mind that. Yeah, I don't know if I'll play it that way, but it is cool that you can just like have like that yellow filter that MGS3 has in the cutscenes. Yeah. I think it's really nice for Konami to, to give us that option. So... Even though Konami... <laughs> made terrible decisions before. It's really nice that they're giving us games for for the run of our money for re-releases. Konami finally being goaded. At least every once in a while. Took them a while. Come on, Jill. Give us strength. And she did! You know... I still think Jill is a good unit. I mean, wasn't she your number one anyway? <laughs> yeah, she was my number one in Path of Radiance. Was that in our playthrough or your playthrough? My playthrough of Maniac Mode. Gotcha. See, I knew I remembered, I knew I remembered something, right? <laughs> yeah. Damn, he has 58 health! Okay. Wow. I, I'm honestly baffled. Dude, it's crazy. 
It is crazy. Are you talking? Ah, uh, hello. It's been a while. Little Soth, you've grown up, dude. I guess everybody keeps saying that. Hmm? You know, little. Oh, sorry. I guess I have to respect your manly happiness now. Yes, please. Or something like that. Many other words I could be proud of. Sir Soth, will that do, man? Soth will do. Just Monica. I'm afraid I can never speak so familiarly with my old little one's good friend, man. So with your permission, dude. Sir Soth. No, that does not... Never mind. <laughs> Sir Soth. <laughs> it's kind of funny, really. We didn't really get to see much of that guy in Path of Radiance, because you, you kept on playing as Leith. <laughs> Come on, Leith is my favorite. Man, I do like well, Leith. Well, one of my favorites. I mean, we didn't we didn't use we didn't use Mordecai. We didn't use that guy. And we have a freaking crow named Vika. Yeah. Or or Vika. V I think Vika. Why? All right, it kind of reminds me of you know. Vicky. <laughs> Why Vicky? That sounds similar. Understandable. Like Miss Vicky's. <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh, it, it's a brand of potato chips we have over here. You do like me some potato chips? Yeah. Well, I prefer kettle cooked. He should have crit. This. <laughs> he if gives he no. Fu he gives no fucks. If he crits early, then he would have. Oh, a door key. Cool. Cool. Maybe it's just me, but I don't really like a lot of. I don't really like every potato chip these days. I kind of prefer kettle cook. You know, Jacob. The fun, funny thing is that. Shit, no, she is dead. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think she'll survive. With um. Well, well, let's find out, I guess. Or maybe, uh, maybe he's trying to get Nolan up there and see if bait them out to go to him instead. Or something. I don't know. I don't think that would worry. Yeah, I think it's worth a try. Or you could make them try and go after the doggy instead. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they're going after your doggy instead. With way too... Okay. That's a bit dangerous. But he paralyzed. Oh, nice. He countered again. Talk with the birdie. Hey. Well, not yet. You wooden blaze did you do, you scurvy traitor? What are you talking about? You grew too tall. I think I expect you to make sense. I have more important things that I tend to do. Hey, it's important to me. What I'd really like to hear is that that issue I asked you to look into. How did it go? I have news to report, but there's no time to chat in the thick of a fight. I'll tell you later. Hey, Drax. <laughs> but you guys okay. are—you guys already are talking in the middle of a battle. And I have new. Oh my god! Oh what? my! God. Look at him! L look at his stats. Twenty speed. Seventeen 20... magic. Oh, he. Oh, he is good. He is definitely going to be valuable. I can already tell. Damn, oh. 30, 36 strength. Okay. He, okay, why is he that powerful? <laughs> okay. I mean, she's got. She's pretty. She's pretty fast. Yeah, she's a fast raven. Nice. Well, 
Well, most of her stats are balanced. But the, do they have any abilities? Well, I mean, she has a beak to attack. No, no like, check their ability. Um, shove. Okay, that's normal. He has cel celerity. Increases movement by two points? Damn. Yep, that... Okay, that's actually a good... That's actually a really good skill. And what about Bird Lady? She has Shriek. Can reduce an enemy's unit's luck to zero. <laughs> and she has can and she has Canto. Yeah, Shove and Canto. How's the unit? Okay, she she has variety. I will she, say that. She's got a lot of abilities. Cool. Okay, I actually got good units here. Yeah. But I think I found a keeper. I think I think everybody is valuable. Yeah. We got so many keepers. Got some really good units here. And good biorhythm. Yes. Best she, biorhythm. She <laughs> Bad biorhythm. Best biorhythm. Everybody has the best biorhythm. Nice. Alright, that is really shitty. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever use Fiona. Well, you tried her out at least. Yeah, I did. But still, I got some keepers in this chapter. Hell yeah, normal biorhythm. And, uh, I don't think Mikaya would do anything. <laughs> You can have uh, Nolan do something. Yeah, I have to kill that mage. With perfect damage? I don't know if it, I don't know if it's perfect damage. You just do enough damage to kill him. That actually is perfect damage, Jacob. Would it say like twenty four if you do more or something? Unless you, unless your hand axe is broken, then yes, it's perfect damage. Hmm. Because you see right there, my axe is broken. Rip axe. Well, hand axe. Rip axe. <laughs> I just like the fact that this. That Volk just howls. Yeah, he's awesome. He, he he's a man of few words. None, in fact. Yeah, he's a man of no words. <laughs> he's a good example of a of a silent character written well. And Laura's close to leveling up. Yeah, and just have Laura heal. She's she's your uh, she's your mist of the game. <laughs> it might be better than this, actually. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> she's definitely getting she's definitely getting better level ups than mist. Even though she's getting a terrible bio rhythm. Yeah, whatever. And she, and she actually maxed out speed. What the heck? She's gonna max out magic next level up too. I'm not joking, she literally maxed out her speed. Well, that's that's at least good for now. Very, very nice for her. I can tell she's going to be valuable. Oh. But you know what, Jacob? I, I think I should be happy about having Laura with me. Yeah, Laura is good. Oh, yeah, you want you want you want to know what I bought from Walmart today? <laughs> what did you buy? I decided to buy Hagen Dazs. What's that? You don't know you don't know Hagen Dazs is? No, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a kind of ice cream. Ooh, ice cream! I like the sound of ice cream. 
Yeah. Well, Hagen dazs are really expensive. I'm pretty sure they're like German or Russian or something. I don't know. Let me let me double check. Let me double check what Hagen what where Hagen dazs come from. Um Hagen dazs is American. Wow. But what is the name based off of? And there's more reinforcements. Um, they were established in the Bronx, New York, in 1960. Hmm. And who cares about the 60s? Um, the name is Danish and Scandinavian. Okay. Never mind. It's ju it's just Scandinavian. Okay. okay. Apparently they have them in New York though, and maybe other parts of America. And you probably just haven't seen them somehow. No, I haven't. But they have they have some ice cream bars that I got from Walmart, and they're kind of expensive. Why are they expensive? Uh, I'll read the dialogue first. I'll go on about it after. <laughs> Murum, do you remember me? Dude, I do, Jill. I'm glad, but why are you in Dane? You'll have to ask the little one, dude. I merely trail around after him, man. I see. I will ask him. Thank you for helping me. It's an honor, dude. <laughs> Just gonna make him, like, a super deep Mordecai voice. Gormod! If it isn't Jill. Thanks for fighting besides us. It's a big help. Nah, it's nothing. How did you happen to? An enemy. Excellent. Leave him to me. There he goes. At least some things never change. Yeah, I, I paid like I paid like five bucks for a box of Hogan Dazs, and you only get like three of them in a box. But, they're really high quality, which is why I don't mind too much. Because, you know, I could pay, like, you know, six bucks for, like, a box of, like, 20 fudgesicles. But, um, you know, they're kind of cheap. It's but Hagen Dazs are really, like, rich, you know? I'm okay with anything that's cheap. Oh, and I usually buy the cheap stuff, but I, f I felt like spoiling myself and getting something a bit more rich. Wait, what? Why did he? Why that? Why that guy gain experience? <laughs> and he lost his form. Well, he's pretty much useless now. And you know what? Let him handle this. So the kind that I got, I got um, it was like chocolate almonds. Or no, yeah, I think it was. I think it was almonds. It was some sort of nut. And it had, and inside it had like chocolate ice cream. I do like me some almonds. I won't say that much. Yeah, pretty good shit. Remember when almonds used to be deadly? They used to be deadly. No. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, not much of the sweet ones. The bitter ones are actually the dangerous ones. Nope, I did not know almonds can be dangerous. Well, if they're not heated correctly. Huh. Yeah, basically you do need some kind of heat to neutralize the almonds. Just just in case almonds are safe to eat. But yeah, but yeah, my point is that almonds are one of the deadliest foods if they're not treated well. Good if, to know. Yeah, if you eat ramen, I mean almonds uh, raw, then uh, your life is at risk. Just saying. Mm. How about how about almond milk? <laughs> Is almond milk any good? Well, yeah, I drink almond milk, and it actually tastes. It actually doesn't taste that bad. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to give it a try. Maybe I'll just get like a small carton of it. Sure, you could just do that. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, I drank chocolate almond milk, and that was good. So maybe I like it. Pick up any kind of milk is good. I mean, I just like cow milk better. 
that's the thing. Every, you're not the only one who enjoys cow milk. I got me a one liter today because my parents haven't bought milk yet. My parents buy two milks. Two liter milk or two, two like jugs of milk? <laughs> well, gal well, I would say gallons. Gallons, hmm. I think. I mean, is it, I thought it's just two liters. Aren't two liters just the one, the one thing that has a handle on it? I mean, milk can come in jugs. Oh, there's a guy inside. You really came to save us? Thank you, dude. Thank you. You have no idea how scared I've been. I'm so glad I didn't would give up. We knew the Maiden of Miracles would free us. You get something for saving these guys? I think so. I hope so. Now we'll see her to the rescue. With his crit. I hope, I hope he crits. It reminds me of how Alencia would attack like four times in one turn. <laughs> yeah, it was... yeah, Alencia can literally quad with a specific sword. Yeah, which is really cool. Oh, I mean, I'm sure we can get that sword. We can. Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. I could imagine that we're at two hours. Mm, we have hit the two hour mark, yep. Yeah. Really wish we could do one more chapter, because I'm not tired. Mm, I'm not tired either, but I'm kind of like, like my stomach's starting to hurt, so I should probably uh, end it after this. Oh man, can we at least do three chapters next time? Because we are getting close to finishing this, this, the first section. Yeah, as long as I'm, you know, not tired or not, and I'm not feeling like I am, you know, I mean, Jake, in pain. Kind of we finish if we finish the stream. At the last chapter of the final section, it would be really pointless. How many more chapters are there left of Micaiah's section? Three. Three? So yeah, it would be best if we just do three chapters next time. Yeah, and uh... And then after that, we are gonna do... We're gonna do Crimea. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're gonna switch armies every now and then in in part three. Well, section three. Mm -hmm. First. Mm -hmm. All right, she is running running low on the gauge. <laughs> Engage. She didn't even so get like, to she didn't even get to attack. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I mean, if you've seen their stats, you could see why. Old hand axe. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I found some pretty interesting Tuhu art earlier. What's that? I found a picture of, um, Tay with long hair. Yeah, so I. I guess you want me to send that to you? Yeah, sure, I'm fine with that. It actually it actually makes Tay look kinda nice. Damn! <laughs> Jacob, he even levels up magic! He leveled up ma not strength though, for some reason. I mean I'm not complaining, Jacob. Do, do you see me complaining? I this is this is generally a good level up. That was a pretty damn good level up. Alright, here I'm gonna send you a picture of Bunny. But it's not the but it's not the Bunny you're thinking of. Thank you, I'm saved. I couldn't hold on much longer. I'm gonna make a run for it. I refuse to die in this pit of despair. I choose to live and return to my family. And you're not gonna live with Sephiroth's hand. Yep. Yeah, Sephiroth giving you a hand job. <laughs> Oh no, I don't want to get a handy from Sephiroth. Actually, maybe- oh, I actually, maybe I do. Oh yeah, why? Because Sephiroth- oh, yeah. Sephiroth's just that desirable. Oh yeah, that's right. Sephiroth is hot as hell. Guys, look- look, it's Budni with long hair. 
Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> Good shot. Cool. You know, it, it still baffles me that Ileana maxes out strength. <laughs> that's really funny. But at the same time, that's good. It's actually a good thing. Why? Because uh, she won't get slowed down by any heavy tome she carries. Right. But at the same time, I'm not going to give her daggers. Yeah, there's a tag literally called Longer Hair Toho, which just gives it just gives Toho characters longer hair. Like some guy gave her Millie long hair, which looks great. I mean, I'm sure you're not complaining. I I like long hair. Me too. They gave Tenchi longer hair, Suwako longer hair, um, Cerno longer hair. The flan. Well, I mean, you don't need you don't need to give Moko longer hair because her hair is already long. Neither would you give anybody with ponytail long hair because they already have one. I think I think one thing I really like about these old Fire Emblem games is that everybody just has like you know a normal ass name. Yeah. Well. Most of them. Like, you know, you got, like, Nolan. Nolan's just, he's just some dude with an axe. <laughs> yeah. You, you got Jill. You got, um... I mean, I guess Makai is a pretty normal-sounding name. You know, you got well, I Ike. Mean, I mean, Makai is actually a real name. Yeah. So you got Makai, you got, um, you know... Um, even though that it is from, even though that it is from some some kind of myth mythological, it's a mythological name. I'll say that. Uh, makes sense. I mean, you got um, you got Laura. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very 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 normal sounding names, which I like. Compared to shit like we have an engage in three houses, like Edelgard. Yeah, Edelgard doesn't make any sense. Well, I guess I guess Dimitri is a normal sounding name. So is Claude. Claude. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a real name. I did not know that. Yeah. Um, but then, but then we get to engage and we have shit like Hortensia. <laughs> yeah, I really don't get why that name. Why is that even a name? Or Etie. I mean, I like Etie, but I gotta admit her name's kind of weird. Sounds like sounds like another name of the famous Pokemon. Yeah, I think mean, I mean Gold Gold Mary is kind of normal. That's a pretty normal name. Her name should have been Rosemary. Or I something. keep I kept calling her Rosemary by accident because it just sounds better. I mean, I know I know I know Gold Mary is a kind of flower, but I think Rosemary sounds nicer. Yeah, I mean it is a real name of a plant. I mean plus it plus it reminds me of uh, Rosemary from MGS. <laughs> I think I get what you're talking about. Yeah. Like Rose from Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, who becomes a MILF in MGS4. Which is honestly really cool. <laughs> really cool, she becomes a MILF. And I'm, sh I'm sure that her model in MGS4, she literally has Booba, I think. Yeah, she has Booba. You know who else is a MILF? Who? Pyra. Oh, true. Especially Dark Pyra. Well, it, it just makes me question if we'll have Dark Glimmer. <laughs> dark Glimmer, maybe. What about Dark Numa? I'm not sure if that would be a thing, but I would love that to be a thing. What about Dark Mio? Ooh, interesting. <laughs> sudden, your sudden interest, you're like, ooh. <laughs> I always love Pyra. I'm gonna open my oh, that, blinds. Okay, a little that, bit. that is nasty damage. Oh yeah, he did a fuck ton of damage. Okay, you know what? I'll at least be happy if she maxes out. If she maxes out speed. You can really tell Jill's grown up in this game. Yeah, I can tell. She looks mature. Yeah, she does. And with that hair? Yeah. 
I can see that. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think the Tele I think the Tellius artworks are some of the best in the series. Yeah, peak uh, peak fire emblem right there. Yeah. I wish the people who make these artworks I wish I wish they would return. I wish the artist who makes these artworks would return. Yeah, because they have a they have a new VA now. Or not VA, a new artist. Yeah, I wonder who it is. And South doesn't even bother increasing strength. I mean I will admit the artist the art for um Fire Emblem Heroes is pretty good. Yeah. There's various artists in Heroes. Oh yeah. Well the art for like engage is just kinda eh. You wanna know what's the worst kind of artwork that you've seen? What? Shadow Dragon and <laughs> Shit, we're gonna fucking harp on Shadow Dragon and New Mystery of the Emblems art. I mean New Mystery of the Emblems art is okay, but Shadow Dragon is terrible. Yeah, I I, I went I went back to look at the art for that game, it's like man that game looks fucking ugly. Have you checked the artwork in New Mystery of the Emblem? Not really, but it looks try very look. similar. Try to look. Try to look at it. Okay. Try to look at the artwork for Mystery of the Emblem. New Mystery I, I of the Emblem. I can assure that New Mystery of the Emblem's artwork is at least tolerable. Is there a gal? Let me see if there's a gallery on the uh, the Fire Emblem wiki. Hey Jacob, dialogue. Oh. Well, Brain. You voice that guy. Zhark has been three years, dude. First Crimea, now Dane. Never a dull day. Still good. It's still good to fight with you again. You can say that again, man. Okay, it's good to fight with you again. <laughs> Barak humor is so odd, dude. But you know I feel the same, man. Hell yeah. I just shoved Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> you just shoved him. Well, I mean, this this, this art of this art of Marth that I found is pretty good looking. The new mystery in the emblem. Yeah, it's 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 be it's, it's better. It's not bad. It's it's not that bad. I will say that. What about Cheetahs? Sure, I'll look at I'll look at Cheeta. I guess I guess it would be Cheetah because that's how you pronounce her name in Japanese. I can't believe that Marth literally has a girl has a girlfriend. What are so Jacob, what are your thoughts on Sheena? She's cute, I like her. People just go A lot of people really go horny for Sheena. Understandable. <laughs> but then again, there's a lot of fire on the wifeies you could go crazy for. That's probably half the reason why the series is so successful. Also, Chia is kind of a baddie when it comes to recruiting people, especially men. <laughs> Damn. It's finally, it's, it's finally getting dark outside. But funnily enough, uh, she literally tricks people just for recruiting, just for recruiting others. Damn, bit overkill, Jill, don't you think? But at the same time, I'm kind of worried about this one. Yeah, kind of a shitty situation, huh? Yeah. But I'll test it out to see if the results are any worse. Worst case scenario is if Jill misses. Nah, uh, I don't think she will. But still, that damage is disgusting. That is some crazy damage. Well, she is a flyer after all. Yep. Yep. Yeah, shove. <laughs> you can have all the units shove her. Wow. Big brain. But at the same time... Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh no! I think I put her in a very bad situation. Uh oh. Maybe have maybe have some of your units like block her or something. Hmm. 
this is this might be bad. Okay. This 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 is bad. Well you could have your doggy stand there. Hmm. Let's see if the worst case scenario is. Oh No, I guess I guess not. It's probably because they're like boss support units. Yeah, they are boss support units. <laughs> you got really lucky there. I feel like if this was like Maniac or something, they probably would have gone after her. Yeah. And even hard mode on Radiant Dawn is worse than Maniac mode. You said this game was hard, but I'm not really feeling the challenge, honestly. I mean, this game is actually hard because of Makaya. It's hard because of Makaya, but you know how to keep Makaya safe, so it's easy. Yeah. But if the enemies were stronger, I would be... I would be in a very dangerous situation. If, if, if you know, they were always going after Makaya, then yeah, like, it'd be anno annoying. <laughs> yeah. But if it was the very beginning of the ch of the first three chapters, everybody literally died. If everybody, if <laughs> everybody, everybody died. The end. If, if any of the units die, then it's game over automatically. Probably because they're just you know that important. Yep, they are that important. And you got we got any new sauce on Pixiv today? I'm gonna check my Discord, just in case. Oh yeah, I sent you something already. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. It's other booty with long hair. Yeah, she actually looks great with long hair. Is there anything wrong with short hair? Eh. I don't know, I just think longer hair looks more mature. Well, depends. <laughs> What about specific uh, short hair that looks a bit longer? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it depends on, you know, it depends on how they look, you know. For like, see, for like a case, for like a case with like, you know, Tay, you know, she, she has a, like a really young looking face. So giving her longer hair makes her look more mature. Have you seen Lucia, it, Lucia's artwork in, uh, in Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn? I have not. Check, check on it. All right. She, she looks a lot better with long, with uh, short hair. Oh damn! You, she, damn, you're right. Told you so. That is the kind of short hair that I prefer. I, I guess I can see what you mean. Yeah, that is the kind of short hair that I really like. <laughs> and her name in Japanese is Lucino. <laughs> What a weird ass name. <laughs> Lucino. So what do you think? Does she look better? Does she look better than her radiant than her path of radiance counterpart? Mmm. It's uh it's definitely a competition, I'll say that. I don't think either one is better than the other. For me I'd say that for me I'd say that uh that her radiant dawn version looks a lot better. Cause you know why. <laughs> They're both great. <laughs> She literally got booba. <laughs> she got she booba. No, I'm serious. She she is literally showing off booba outside. <laughs> showing booba outside. You know what? That might be the title. Fuck you, nigga. He's showing booba outside. <laughs> you know what I'm. You know what I'm saying, right? Uh, what you mean, like cleavage? Yeah, showing off cleavage. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna survive, that's, dude! That's what I... Nah, man, we're gonna go with showing Booba outside. <laughs> well, I mean, isn't that kind of the beat? Yeah. That if it's in public? It's in public. Also, also, there's rain. Also, I'm getting rain outside. Oh, uh, don't worry, it rained earlier. <laughs> It was yeah, weird. Exactly. It was weird. We had like rain. We had like frozen rain for like I don't know, like fifteen minutes, and then it stopped. Is that cold? Yeah, I guess it happened when I was um 
<laughs> yeah, fuck that door. It happened while I was fixing up my mic. That's Because uh, I, I unscrewed my mic, and then I had to put it back together. So it, that took me like half an hour, because I don't know how to... I don't fucking know how screws work. I'm not, I'm not a, you know, a mechanic. So that was fun, trying to figure out how to put my mic back together. The, ra the reason is, is because I eventually want to try and get some sort of stand to put my mic on. That is really stupid, I will say that much. What's really stupid? Not fix, about not knowing how to fix your mic. Well, yeah, because I, uh, I don't have the, um, I don't have the blueprints for it anymore. Okay, that kind of makes sense, actually. So I wasn't sure like how to put it back together. And I tried looking up videos, and the only thing I, the only thing I really got was like what side to put the screw back on because there's two different sides. Hey, Jacob. What? I think I think uh, even though you say that Shadow Dragon's uh, artwork is terrible, would you rather see? Would you rather believe that the artwork of Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light's artwork is better? I mean, it's got that, you know, it's got that old 80s and 90s anime art style, so it's definitely more charming. That game released in the 90s. Yeah, so 90s anime art style, that's of course charming. Honestly, I do like anime. I honestly do like 90s anime art style. And it's part of the reason why I like Sailor Moon, which I've probably already said already. <laughs> And also because I like uh, transforming heroines. In fact, that's probably why I like Neptunia so much, because it has that same thing going on, you know, just girls who can transform into, like, stronger versions of themselves. You know who else does that? What? Goku. Goku. Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. They, they also have that kind of similar powers. Yeah, that's probably, what, that's probably also why Dragon Ball's so popular. And also because, yeah. and also Dragon Ball kind of has that edge because it was like one of the only animes that was on like TV in like the 90s and 2000s, you know? Yeah, I guess what you're trying to say. Because, you know, not a lot of anime, not a lot of anime aired in the West. So, um, but somehow we managed to get Dragon Ball. Since I guess Dragon Ball looked manly and like Western enough, they were like, eh, we can, we can have Dragon Ball in the West. And that's how Dragon Ball ended up becoming so popular. <laughs> and that's why it also got a bunch of games over here, too. Which is why Budokai Tenkaichi 3 is so good. We have so many... In the 90s, there were many gateway animes that we, we, that we would be introduced to. Yeah, like uh, Cowboy Bebop is apparently one. Yeah. Um... So is Neon Genesis. Yeah, Neon Genesis was around. And I know, and I know you like that anime. Yeah, obviously. I watched watched the entire anime uh, on on last December. And apparently, <laughs> apparently, fun fact: there's apparently a reference to Neon Genesis in uh, Super Mario RPG <laughs> in the Super Japanese Mario. version. I know about that. Yeah, <laughs> which, I'm I, think sure is, which I think is really funny. Well, I mean, I am sure that the people who worked on who worked on uh, Super Mario RPG were anime fans. Yeah, because the in the Japanese version of Mario RPG, all of the enemies they just like quote like '90s anime and like Japanese culture and shit. It's really great. <laughs> I find it cool. I wish, honestly. For, for us Westerners, we weren't even aware of that, which I get, nope. like, well I, mean, well, I mean, it does make sense that they would cut out such content like that, but... Well, every what now e every now and then, some of the, uh, some of the references got exchanged for, like, Western pop songs or something, you know, because that was, like, the best they got at the time. Yeah, it was kind of... Honestly, that's kind of lame. A lot, well, pretty, pretty lame compared to the Japanese anime references. Yeah. One of my Japanese if animes. If we knew about it, then then the rest would be history. Oh, and if also, you're, if, before, what? What's up? Before I fight the, before I fight Patrick, I have to heal everybody up. <laughs>
Oh, and if you're wondering why I was playing MGS1, it's because uh, I'm playing through it with my girlfriend. Oh, I see. Because I, because I want I, I've always wanted to show my girlfriend Metal Gear Solid, and I, I finally have the chance to. Ooh, nice. She's close to leveling up. I mean, she's close to. Freaking... No, didn't max out magic yet, though. Yeah, true. Which I'm honestly happy about. Now, I'm going to do this. Uh... I'm gonna see if I can find some sauce that I saved. I'm gonna send it to Elijah. The only way that I could... That I could kill him is with magic. <laughs> yeah, kill Patrick. Kill Patrick with magic. <laughs> kill Patrick with magic. Oh yeah, I found some. Fa I found some sauce of Byleth. Boobleth. <laughs> SpongeBob! Blundering through like a bull in a china shop. Come closer! I can shatter your ambitions like glass! Just like Battle for Bikini Bottom! <laughs> I, will beat, I will beat into your very bones who just rule this land. And I'll have Krabby Patties. Krabby Patties. And Eliana oh. is gonna... Oh no! That's not good. <laughs> you could have almost killed Eliana, dude. But you know, lights. <laughs> this week, I'll play Xenosaga 2 for real this time. That's what I do. <laughs> yep. I have played Xenosaga, but I haven't been that far. Well, thank god he doesn't heal a fuck ton. Hopefully he doesn't get a high roll. Oh, he died. Oh, he, he missed. Yeah, he missed. Come on, Eliana. Keep dancing. What I did this morning is that I watch the Back to the Future trilogy again. Hell yeah. That never gets old. Yeah, true. Although I didn't watch that much of the wild of the part three that involved the Wild West because I thought it was boring, but I watched it again and thought to myself, "Huh, this is honestly a great way to end the trilogy." Yeah, I used to I used to not like the Wild West episode either, but I think it's got I think it's better than I gave it credit for. Plus, I love the part. Plus, I love the part where Marty just says, "No one calls me yellow." <laughs> I mean, I get what the yellow reference mean. Yeah, I love that. And also, it reminds me of how Doc Brown is in Smash Universe. Also, Iliana's leveling up. Yep. That's all you intended to do. Your I'm first promote. And Iliana's got work. legs for days. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously. So she's gonna be a sage now. Ooh, she's got a cool cape now. Right? Hell honestly, yeah. I think, honestly, I think this model promote is way better than her Path of Radiance one. Hey, she looks awesome now. Mm hmm I honestly didn't like her her freaking promoted uh, model in Path of Radiance because I really didn't like the hair and stuff. And her model looks like she looks like she's grown up. Exactly. But in this one, she honestly looks a lot... On, but in this one, her model looks a lot better. She does look a lot better. Mm hmm So, yeah. That's why... That's why I prefer Radiant Dawn over Path of Radiance for various reasons. Even though that there are some things that Path of Radiance has that Radiant Dawn doesn't. Okay. Back to what? I, back to the dialogue. <laughs> back to Patrick. They were worthless. SpongeBob, where's my Krabby Patty, Kyle? <laughs> Holy scum of Dane and the Krusty Krab. How? How could such filth have Krabby Patties? <laughs> Too bad I don't have the fucking Patrick scream on my soundboard. <laughs> I guess I can end the chapter right now. Yeah, you could. 
I don't think anybody needs healing. Honestly, I was pretty lucky that Ileana was was okay. Lucky. <laughs> yep, he, I mean, you could heal up to him. <laughs> For one HP. It doesn't matter how much you heal, you get experience regardless. Hmm. I think everybody is this close to level leveling up into advanced classes. Yeah. Almost. And I'm... Even though he didn't get Nolan another level up, I think one level up is enough for him. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's strong as is. Halt. And also, the player phase thing doesn't take, like, ten years. Which, honestly, I'm happy about. Right, the fact that this game is faster is so much nicer. <laughs> Yeah, look at how fast that is. <laughs> okay, that's enough. It's time to clear the chapter. Yay! And then we might, you know. Hey, it's Prince oh. P again. Let's <laughs> see here, South. Who are those three? Where did you come from? Would they like to join my Liberation Army, dude? I call him Prince Pelvis. Or Prince Pelvis. Yeah, that's also a good name. They are my personal acquaintances from Bangyum. And, yeah, they can handle themselves in a fight. If there are any more Lagoos to join us, there will be no problems. We've managed to hide Volg. And his true nature, but with Lagoos, it will surely get out. Any such backlash can be extinguished with proper punishment, dude. But Lagoos, they're powerful and expendable. Just what we need, dude. By all means, invite them to join. Honestly, Jacob, I think this chapter was actually pretty fairly challenging, I will say. Yeah. Because. Oh my goodness, you've seen- you saw what happened with- Oh my goodness. I mean, Jacob, you saw what happened with Ileana. Mario here. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, that damage was literally scary. Ileana almost died, that could have been bad. I wouldn't want to yeah. see Ileana die. It would have been bad, but at least- At least she- she barely survives. But yeah, Patrick literally proved the challenge by eating so much Krabby Patties. <laughs> oh boy, 3 a.m. They're good friends. I'm sure they'll agree to help if I ask. Mumbly fucking creep. Right. Isn't the prince and not you who should make those decisions? What should mean not, young dude? My words are the prince's words. You need to understand that. Isn't that right, my prince? Oh, yes, yes. That's right. You should do what... So, I mean, Budhead wishes. I see, Akechi. I'm glad you see. Now, quickly, quickly, go talk to your friends. And see you don't foul up, dude. He's got a lot of forehead. That's why I call him... Butthead. <laughs> How did you get here so soon? More importantly, more importantly, where's the investigation team? It went great. In fact, we finished up so quickly in Inaba that we flew here to back you up in case you needed help. Um. Oh, sorry, I haven't juiced myself yet. You're Makai, I take it. I'm Tormod. I'm gonna call. Him, actually, you know, I should I should start calling him Tomato. Okay, sure, that works. Three years back, Soth and I were in the Crimean army. Sorta. We fought side by side as mercenaries under Ike. Of course, General Ike again. I beg your pardon? Nothing, don't mind me. So anyway, what is this investigation team Soth requested of you? 
And Yum's Empress knew that what was happening in Bane. Sanaki? At only 13, they, the Apostle may be young. She's proud and upstanding. She never let those kinds of things happen again to Bane. So I asked Tomato to fill her. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Tomato. <laughs> He literally, he literally looks like a tomato. Yeah, yeah, with that col- with that freaking color pattern, I could see why. Yeah. And on what was really happening here. This is what we learned. The Apostle had noticed something shady about Dane. She was investigating on her own. He traced the ones pulling the strings to a certain fact faction of Senator Armstrong. And we did not know that the investigation team and Senator Armstrong were <laughs> were connected. For you, not Chad, you versus Senator Armstrong. <laughs> now she's snapping mad. Without a proof, she can't publicly move against them. The Apostle is the place home in vain. And so she and, S and the Senate and the Senator Armstrong were <laughs> terms with each other. No, no, Jose, you gotta remember the difference. Senator is Senator Armstrong, and the Senate is Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I am the Senate. And the Senate likes Milk and Family Guy. Milk and Family Guy. So, she promised she'd help us however she can. She said she'd do whatever- she said do whatever is necessary, and that inspired me to find you sooner than later, Tomato. I see. So I can depend on having you three around, at least a little while. Yeah, your old pal here is gonna take care of everything. Just try getting rid of me. <laughs> okay, I'll kill you on the next mission. <laughs> I can <really> try. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Oh, you're as blockheaded as ever, like Block the Square Man. Whose name's Stone. <laughs> blockhead the Square Stone. That's South. He looks happy for some reason. Because he's reunited with my little one, dude. That must be it. Oh, Soth. Ever since he was so small, he's tried to act more grown-up than the grown-ups. I've taken care of him so long, and still, I've never seen his smile so easily before. So, Makaya was there during the events of Path of Radiance. Damn. Well, <laughs> Jacob, there are so many... Th there are so many backstories that we might learn from this game before the events of Path of Radiance. Right, you like me some backstory? Uh, watch what you say, dude. Comments like that, they reveal that your appearance belies your true age, man. Dude. Because she's a branded, of course she would age slowly. Hmm. I guess that makes her more attractive or something. Oh, what yeah? are you? What makes you say that? I mean, I don't know how old Makai is, actually. Well, I mean... <laughs> you does could say does, that. Does the wiki say? No, I don't think so, but... It is implied that she does age... She does age slowly, and... I don't know. She, she, is, she is probably older than everybody. Even... <laughs> even Gwen himself. Hmm. And Emperor Palpatine. Among the Lagoos, there are those who detest and revile half priests such as yourself, man. They call you parentless and deny you any Lagoos heritage, dude. Honor or dignity, take due care, man. I wonder if frickin' Mr. Van Driesen is aware of <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Van Driesen. Cause you... Because, like I said, Micaiah is half- is half Heron. Yep. Oh, oh no. The silver-haired waifu. And we made it to chapter 8. We're- we're close to finishing part 1. No Spongebob announcer. Escaped prisoners, and Dayan's army grows ever larger. Yep. Its victories at Talrega and other key Victory! locations have strengthened its position. The army rides across the land, 
liberating prisoners from Penyon encampments. The day in ranks Benyon. is low with the influx of veteran soldiers, and the men begin to dream of the day when they may retake the capital. Like a fever, conflict grips the nation. Like a fiber. Like a fiber? Did he just say like a fiber? All eyes turn toward day. <laughs> no. As the I just intentionally made that joke. <laughs> It really sounded like he said like a fiber. <laughs> what does fiber have anything to do with this? I don't know. Maybe he didn't eat enough granola. Why granola? Because granola's got fiber. Oh god, it's these fucking guys. It's the Numa Numa guy and Jared. <laughs> it's Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> You summoned me, your grace. Hey, Paisano Jared, there is more trouble. <laughs> has formed an, an inspection team that's separated from the investigation team. She's de detaching to, to Dane. Ho, ho, ho. I'm arranged to meet with the, with the Senate, uh, the Senate's vice minister, who Apparently doesn't care about Milk and Family Guy. Duke <laughs> Gados. Gados. If we asked him a favor, I'd imagine he could deceptively, secretly sweep their fi their fundings under the rug. But in the meantime, you must do the Mario and obliterate the Instagrams. Once that is done, we'll devise excuses. Understood, sir. <laughs> Adler. Oh yeah, didn't I give him a stupid voice? Yes. What's the plan? Will the Senators Armstrongs be able to cover up this mess? If the inspection, the inspection team of the Rebel Army ever cross paths, then the, Sen then the Senate won't be able to hide the truth. Or reach or reach out to the truth. <laughs> or reach out to the truth of what it of, of what lies in the milk and family guy conspiracy. <laughs> so stupid. It is dumb. Oh yeah, Jacob, I'll be right back. Alright. Did you guys know that David Hayter is secretly a fan of Metal Gear Solid? I did not know this until yesterday. I know it's pretty crazy. And I'm gonna tell my funny stories. My funny stories involving Milk and Family Guy. And that's that's all I have. I can't think of anything else. I'm gonna see if we have any funny um any more funny articles to read. Um hmm. Wait, Ace Attorney might be in the next Nintendo Direct? You know what? That would actually be pretty dope. I would love to see a new Ace Attorney game because I've been, I've yet to, I have yet to play Grace Ace Attorney two though, <laughs> and I don't know when I'll get around to that. All right, so, I'm back. All right, hello, welcome back. To what? To doing the Mario. Oh my goodness, that is Violet, all right. But yep. Abuga. Have you ever seen seen Summer Byleth? Plenty of times. Really? Yeah, maybe I'll send some sauce later. Well, I well I have a sauce that might pique your interest. Ooh, you like me some sauce. Okay, give me a sec. You might have seen this or not, but you might like this. Here's this one. God damn! That's, so, some, that's, some, that's some good shit right there. Yeah, she literally got some booba. She got the booba. Yep, you're liking what you're seeing, right? I love what I'm seeing. I, well, I'm the other person who knows how to find good sauce. Alright, I'll give you another reward. Alright. Pepsi booba. <laughs> potato booba. Or potato boob. 
<laughs> but yeah, I am literally liking what I'm seeing. It's it's uh, Alir giving me a hand. You mean you mean Pepsi Chan? Yeah, <laughs> Pepsi Chan giving me a hand. Or Potato Boob Chan. <laughs> <laughs> potato Boob Chan. I, I, go watch the Engage playthrough if you guys don't get that joke. Yeah, just watch it. Drop it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Drop it. These guys, they, they, these, hang on, <laughs> I was just gonna make a comment how these guys just like they're so, they're, they look like they're so fucking like fed up. <laughs> they literally do look like they are angry at each other. <laughs> they're having an epic staring contest. Yeah, they're having a staring contest of, of what, of what the inspection team has anything, has anything to do with the investigation team. <laughs> <laughs> If the inspection team and you, Narukame, you read ever that cross paths, even the, even the Senate won't be able to hide Milk and Family Guy. We'll lure the rebels to Shifu Swamp. Call it Shofu Swamp. Sha <laughs> Shaq Fu Swamp. Shaq Fu Swamp. <laughs> we'll plant tails to. <laughs> Veggie Tails. Shark tail. <laughs> Shark tail with the Will Smith fish. Of the mass execution there of the Will Smith fish. And the tribe. mass destruction. And and they'll be sure to come. Then we'll trap the the malcontinents and wipe them from the face of the land. Just like Snake wanted to wipe every meme. Wipe this meme from the face of the earth. When Snake tries to delete a meme... Oh, my eyes! What happened? The screen went white. <laughs> it's amazing! My wound is healed! I gave you thanks, dude! I never thought I'd see the silver-haired waifu work miracles before my very eyes. Another prisoner. <laughs> silver-haired maiden, help them! You must help them! Help who? What's going on? Calm down and tell me. They're killing our men, I beg you. Please save them. Oh god, here we go. Prisoner from jo from Jode work camp are being collected in and Shaq Fu's swamp and executed. Not only Jode, there is reportedly a plan to exterminate all prisoners in every camp and let the swamp conceal the remains. <laughs> I've heard nothing of such a plan. It's a false rumor. We're an enemy trap. <laughs> it may indeed be a trap, but if we don't investigate, we risk a mass execution. But what if it is a trap and they vanquish the Liberation Army, dude? The dream for storing Dane to glory will die instantly. For the good of Dane's future, we must ignore this threat, this sticky, yummy threat. I understand. And that's why I won't take any troops. Only myself and my old friends will go. M Micaiah? If you refuse them your permission, I'll go alone. Stop right there, little lady. I'll not authorize this action without the prince's full approval. Dude. Butthead, let her do as she wishes. Please, she hasn't disappointed us yet. Unless it's Joker. My prince. Oh, fine. But I can't help but feel as if these children are running your army, dude. Shut up, Shido. <laughs> it's Shido. Alright, probably do some preparations and then we'll probably call it a day. We had a nice two hour and fifty one minute stream. That now is that's, see now that's the kind of episode you probably wanted. <laughs> I'd say it's a freaking two we just finished two and a half chapters. Because remember, we did finish uh Yeah, we did finish uh the same chapter. Just and, just and there was friend. there was that really long chapter. Yeah. I mean it's not as Which bad is... as that one from Path of Radiance. It's like five sec it's like four different levels. Well four well four uh parts of the same chapter. Yeah, that, that one fucking where, sucked. It was so where long. It has where it has the forest, where we revive the- where we have- where we only have two herons, and 
Yeah, that really stinks. <laughs> hey, stinky. I yeah, think yeah. Nolan. It's getting dark out. Yeah, I think this is first, like, actually kind of mid level. <laughs> but more it's still sure. good. Yeah, I'll, give, Laura, I'll give Laura all the experience. Maybe she'll promote. Ding. Hey, she finally maxed out magic. Well, we're not going to get that much uh, good good level ups. She, Dude, oh, she maxed out skill, oh. too. She, she actually did max out skill. I, oh, good on her. You know what, Jacob? I think she, she actually might be better than Miss herself. Sure looking that way. Just look at this. Tw 20 magic, 15 skill and speed. Too bad she won't increase that much uh, res. But mm, yeah, it's too bad. I think 12 res is good enough. You know, let's see. Um, let's, let's see what the wiki thinks about Laura. Laura is crucial to your success in, cha in part one. Is your sole healer from chapter two to epilogue of part one. Um, let's see. Laura has very high magic skill and speed. However, due to the low and fixed EXP gains, she'll grow very slowly on her own unless the player chooses to stall. Yeah, um, do we know that? Um... Yeah. With Terra- she- with, uh, let's see... Um, level Laura up to level 10 and give her a Master Seal around Chapter 7 or 8, where she, she should be able to promote naturally with a bit of help from bonus EXP. She'll promote into a Bishop with still pretty subpar stats, but give her potential access to a Paragon skill. Um, what else? I already did. I already well, did. well, 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 rev the Paragon. Um, yeah, I, I don't think she does need a Paragon. Hmm. Let's see. She, she's, she is gonna fight. I, I, I can assure you she is gonna fight. Apparently it says later on when she becomes a bishop, she'll be able to use light magic attacks. Like Micaiah. Yeah. Laura doesn't need Laura doesn't need good stats outside of magic or light magic to be useful. She doesn't need to see any battle throughout the entire game either. All she really needs to do is heal and build her staff rank. And while it does make the mid game a bit easier and ha to have a leveled up Laura with better range and healing output with physics staves and the player not having to stress as much with her placement, she'll heal reasonably well regardless of being tier one or two. If you choose to leave her at tier one, you'll have to constantly mind her position. I think, I'm still, I think I'm still going to use her. If she manages to reach her final level class, a Saint, Laura at maximum potential will be essentially become a worse Micaiah, being able to use SS staves and light tomes. However, saves are a popular class to take to end game due to underwhelming caps. So, yeah, I... apparently Laura is like really good for the early game and she becomes kind of just alright at the end of the game. Yeah, I'm still going to use her regardless. I mean, you like using whatever units you feel like, so... Yeah. Laura's good. I mean, when you look at Micaiah, she... I mean, the, the only thing that Mi that she has a, an advantage over Laura is that she has better resistance. Yeah, and she does more damage. Yeah, but with the same amount of magic, I'm sure she'll, she'll take the same amount of damage. Yeah, so, so Laura will basically be like, you know, a backup if Micaiah doesn't end up turning out so well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. And her speed literally helps. I'm, I'm serious. Her, she has good speed. Yeah. That's that's all she needs. She All she needs is good speed. I mean, the best I could do is literally... Uh, the best I could do is figure out how to get her res to increase a bit more. Yeah, that's about it, really. Yeah. Well, I think that's a good. I think that's a good point to end the stream on. Um, I don't think I have that much money to get anything. I mean, the only thing I'd recommend getting is an Elf Ender Tome for Eliana. Well, I mean, I haven't. I have an Elf Ender Tome for Eliana. You? 
Oh yeah, you do. Okay, never mind then. I don't really think you need to buy anything then. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe if I have more light magic. You got lots of light magic. Well, if I ever think about getting light magic for Laura... Why not just give Laura one of Micaiah's light tomes? I don't know, you tell me. I think... I think it'll be fine, honestly. Yeah, but I think I'll need more saves. I mean, I I'm sure the saves that I have are manageable. Yeah, plenty. You'll be fine. I, mean, I sure hope you're right. Yeah, you have like 60 uses of heal, and like, still like 10 more uses yeah. of men. And I don't think I'll ever get the arm scroll ever again. Nor, nor will I get the... You don't yeah. Want, you don't want Wind Edge or anything? No, not really. Okay. Well, maybe save up for the Worm Slayer. No, I don't think I'll get the Worm Slayer either. Oh, is that not any good? No, it- no, we the weapons do change constantly. Oh. Okay. I think you can just save and we'll, uh, we'll do more... I mean, honestly, I, I'd be down to do more Radiant Dawn tomorrow night. Oh, sure, we can do that. I'm gonna be doing- I'm gonna be doing Secret of Mana with Jordan a little bit earlier in the day, and then we can do, uh, Radiant Dawn at night. Oh, yeah, and- and the Nintendo Direct for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I'm also doing the Direct. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna watch the direct and see if it's very, really disappointing or not. Uh, well, I'll okay. let you I'll let you know when I watch it because I might not. I probably won't get to watch it in the morning. I'll probably have to watch it with my girlfriend in like the afternoon. <laughs> I'm not gonna have high expectations for the direct, but hey, if one of if one of my bingo slots end up becoming true and it's one of the good ones, uh, yeah. I really hope you're right about that. Otherwise. There's not going to be much much games that I would be interested in. Hope you guys enjoyed this slightly longer Radiant Dawn episode. We got yeah. we got a decent amount done, but I yeah. guess we'll do more of this tomorrow. And I'm 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 excited to play more of it. It's it's going to be fun. Oh, it will be. We are going to finish section one tomorrow. Yay! Yeah, and uh, we're we're honestly I want to even if the even if the hours become slow, I'm still going to finish it regardless. Yeah, I'm down with that. Alright, well, yeah. see everybody in the next episode. Take care.